Twister touchdown about five miles south of the town of Cisco, an area of farm and small ranches. It then traveled in a straight line and tore through several houses in its path. According to Eastland County Judge Rex Field, the local emergency management coordinator, Field said one person was killed in the Twister. He cannot immediately provide more information on the victim. At least two houses were destroyed in the area about 130 miles east of Dallas and other dwellings might have been damaged. Field said roads were partly flooded because of the storm, adding, we can't exactly tell what all we've just got yet. We don't even have everybody accounted for. In eastern Colorado, three tornadoes touched down in rural areas on Saturday. There were no reports of injuries or property damages from those weak twisters. Tornadoes also touched down on Saturday in western Kansas and along the border with Oklahoma and Texas, but no injuries were immediately reported, according to meteorologist Liz Leitzman of the Weather Service's Storm Prediction Center. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. You're putting your name, address, credit card number, social security number, all that, you're just chucking it right up onto the internet where any disgusting degenerate can grab it? The only way to make sure that your identity is never stolen is to change it every three years. That's what I do. Two years ago, I was Ellen Foxcroft, attorney at law. Three years before that, I was Trish Homingwood, patient at the Austin State Psychiatric Hospital. And three years before that, I was Regina Dupree, lead singer of the soul group Derriere. And you know what? None of my identities has ever been stolen. So to make sure that your personal information stays safe, you got to follow some simple steps. First, you're going to need new pieces of identification, right? But don't worry, old Shelby knows a guy up in Detroit can fix these up pronto, real cheap. Next, you're going to have to fake your own death. But all that takes is a mold of your teeth, a corpse, and a $500 used car for setting on fire. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-FREE. The live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Derek J. That's right. Ian is off, I don't know, dancing to devil music or something. I, I, I think he's gone off to some one of these dance parties. That's right. Yeah. Well, yeah. I hope he enjoys himself. You can check us out on the cam at cam.freetalklive.com. Let's get right into the show content. You can call in and derail whatever we're talking about anytime. That's what we do here on Free Talk Live. You can call us at 855-450 and free. That's 3733. I've got an article from archive.is, and I'm not sure what that means. That means to me an old article, article, but this is dated May the 4th, 2015. Hmm. So there you go. Call it what you want. Apparently, a man using the name... Anthony LaRoche allegedly promised women uh, 50 shades of gray bedroom antics with a handsome man through emails and texts. Ooh. He sort of posed online as a, um, he had a picture of uh, basically a male model, and I guess these gals didn't have any way to check it. But Was uh, he on a particular website? I, or? They aren't clear on that, but this is a guy in France. Okay. So, um, so we some like, French version it. of Craigslist or something. Yeah, the French version of uh, Grindr. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so he apparently is 68, and he fooled a bunch of women into sex in a dark room by posing as a handsome male model online. So... Apparently, he is now facing charges of surprise rape. Well, I mean, it's, it's it says, surprise rape. It's called That's surprise his... rape is the terminology. I that mean, doesn't sound right. It's fraud. Definitely. But he's, not... he's misrepresenting himself. I don't know if that's rape. I, I, I don't think it is rape, um, but it's it's fraud. Yeah. I would say is, is the uh, the right terminology. And they're, they're kind of close. Like, uh, what's happening here is a sexual crime, but it's uh, it's it's lying about the sexual crime. Yeah, I guess. So let's read the story because right. uh, it, I think it's it, it's a very interesting story. This 68-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of fooling women into having sex with him in a darkened bedroom by posing as a young male model online. Mm-hmm. The man, using the name Anthony Laurel, 
uh, allegedly promised the women sh- Fifty Shades of Grey style bedroom antics with a handsome man through emails and texts. He okay. now he's now facing uh, charges. Uh, he faces being charged with the rarely seen offense of surprise rape. I don't know. After a woman, well, this might be the uh, the difficulty is is in this is that they're using the term rape and it, it's sort of misapplied. Yeah. Well, and and that sort of demeans actual rape. Right. I think we should use the term rape to identify people who have been forcibly uh, forced into sexual acts. Right. Against their will. But these people came to his apartment, right? Uh, I don't know. I I get the impression. It sounds like they went to him. It does have that look. So after one woman, Sylvie, uh, complained about the alleged subterfuge, that's how he uh, got caught. Apparently, the complainant, Sylvie, says that she was lured into the man's apartment in nice, nicey, nicey France and alleged that he su- suggested a darkened room with a blindfold for the kinky thrill. Suggested or insisted? Well, probably ahead of time. Yeah. Well, so the, she consented to that. The first thing we'll be doing, my darling, is you'll be wearing a blindfold. Right. Right. And uh, when she arrived, she said she covered her eyes. She got into bed with the man who thought, who she thought was a handsome and with brown hair and blue eyes. She said she was stunned when she flicked on the light after sex to see a much older man. She added, he was a balding man of 65 and he was quite wrinkly and wore glasses. Oh, no. I was absolutely disgusted. Oh, no. Well... <laughs> I could imagine her shock. I, I don't want to talk down to these people, but when you decide to have sex with a stranger and you don't see that stranger before you have sex with them, don't be surprised if they are somewhat misrepresentative of who they are. Yeah, what's the expression about... Uh you don't know if you're talking to a dog on the internet? <laughs> I don't know what the expression is about that. <laughs> that's it. I think that's the one. And that's true. I mean, these people, you know you're buyer not beware. To a dog, you're talking to a fat, hairy guy. Um, no, well, I mean, have you ever done online dating? Absolutely, I have. Very done, much so. You've done a lot of online dating. Mostly online. Actually, I, I think ex- pretty much exclusively online dating ever since I was 16. Wow. Uh, when I first, because I'm gay and it's hard to find another gay boy when you're 16. You might have a few in your neighborhood or high school, but uh, How would I had, you find I had them otherwise, to, right? Right. Not everyone is out yet. So I really had to reach and use the internet uh, to leverage my dating abilities. So I've gone on, I guess, one that I can think of, one yeah. uh, uh, date on the internet. And I don't know if this gal's picture was her picture or not, but I can tell you that she was bigger than I had imagined. Mm hmm. And uh, you know, people want to put their best foot forward, and so sure. they use their photo from five years ago, and they weighed twenty right. pounds less. Well, what about those the authors of how many books that are out there that have that picture, that black and white picture on the back? Yeah, from the eighties, right. and they're still from, using it. You know, the, it's a glamour shot from the eighties, <laughs> whatever it is. I mean, is that them misrepresenting what you're getting? Because you're getting this, you know, what difference does it make what the author looks like? And if you're having blindfolded sex, what difference does it make what the person looks like? Yeah, and sex is so in your head anyway. I mean, a lot of sex is about um, what's happening in your mind. It's not purely physical. So I think what a lot of these women were signing up for was a uh, mental experience and that they certainly got that wasn't fraud he delivered what was promised there right well he was proposing to deliver fantasy isn't 50 shades of gray about sort of fantasy yes. and domination yeah and for this woman to flick on the light who knows if that was part of their agreement or not um but well, uh- she could have flicked on the light sooner is what i'm saying she was into it she wanted this to happen and she didn't want all of the facts beforehand. Apparently, she could have had them. He didn't stop her from flicking on the light later. So why uh, couldn't she have done this in the first well, place? There's some more facts that I think you should be in possession okay. of before we go any further. Right. Police matched the woman's testimony with uh, three similar complaints. And after raiding the man's home, arrested him on suspicion of trying the same scam on 342 women across <laughs> France. <gasps> wow. After being arrested, the man told police that he didn't think he had done anything. It committed offense because women, they'd all consented to sex. Yes. His lawyer told the uh, Le Parisien. A newspaper, he uh, never forced any of his alleged victims into sex, and the photo he used was the model uh, of the model was clearly too good to be true. And if he'd been asked if he was really the person in the picture, then he would have been told the truth. So 
I think that this is a little scummy, but it's yeah. kind of what they're they're going for is is that look, just because he put a picture online doesn't mean he was actually representing himself as that person. That's true. And to consider what these women were looking for, a lot of people have to pay for things like that. You would have to go to a service or something. And this seems to be like it, it's implied that it was free, that this was a consensual I get the impression relationship. It was free. Yes. Yeah. And so he, if he was they, the kind of guy that likes to administer spankings to, women, to uh, women, and they were the kind that wanted to have them administered. Right. But there are places that do this for money. And I'm sure they happen. I think they to, only do it for money for men. Well, I have yet to find. Okay, so I saw an episode of House, okay. and he said, "You know how much trouble it is to find a male heterosexual prostitute? Probably be, not that not that men wouldn't do it. It's just that no one, none of them are in business because they would go out of business. I don't know. Maybe things are maybe times are changing because these women were seeking something unusual, and they were it seeking it for free, apparently. Yeah, but they perhaps." Um, could have paid for a younger man, right? What I'm saying here is yes. that if they wanted the guy in the picture, they'd have to pay. But they could get it for free from old dude. So that's what they chose. Well, if he, it says that he um, apparently had done it with three women and tried it with 342. If we assume that the police don't have all of the, uh, the stories here, and he's not going to tell anything extra right. at this point, um, then... I'll bet there are at least there are at least two women, if not many more, that decided, you know what, this just isn't worth reporting. This is humiliating, or um, maybe they came back. We don't know, uh, but they decided that it wasn't worth reporting it. This is another instance of buyer beware. Also, I mean, just because it involves sex doesn't mean that it's not uh, an exchange of value. And a, a customer, as this person is, these these uh, women, they're they're really both customers. They need to swap pictures. It's very important to, to make sure that you know what you're getting before you get it. Should I be horrified by this behavior? Should this man hang from a tree for rape? The number is 855-450-3733 because I'm not convinced. 855-450-FREE, Free Talk Live. It's lrn.fm on Skype. Are you completely free of stress and fatigue? Well, of course not. You aren't alone, though. Now think about how nice it would be to begin relieving some of that stress and fatigue. Let me introduce you to a product that has and is working for me. It's called Youthful Greens. Youthful Greens. It's packed full of nature's nourishing, cleansing, and alkalizing greens, providing a powerful dose of whole food nutrition in each serving. Youthful Greens helps increase overall energy levels and reduce all that fatigue and stress on your body. And right now, when you visit freegreens.net or call 800-333-6923 and order your one-month supply of Youthful Greens for only $29.95, you get another month supply for free. That's two months of Youthful Greens for the already low price of just $29.95, plus free shipping. That's saving you $45. Visit freegreens.net today or simply call 800-333-6923. And hey, you're welcome. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw of free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Does this ever happen to you? Moments after you're introduced to someone, you forget his or her name. It's a common faux pas you'll want to avoid, especially if you're a job seeker. And even if you're not, here's a tip. As you are being introduced, and while you're still shaking hands, smiling, and making eye contact, say the person's name aloud. 
Not only does that make a deposit in your memory bank, it acknowledges the other person. And that is more than a nuance, as is maintaining eye contact. With money and attention so scarce now, effective communication skills have never been more important. Cutting through the clutter rather than blending into the blah, blah, blah will help you connect better no matter what the conversation. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Ross Ulbricht was convicted in early 2015 of running the infamous Silk Road Underground Market. The Silk Road was a gift to humanity and helped reduce the harms brought on by drug prohibition. For this good deed, Ross may be spending the rest of his life in prison. His family is planning to appeal his conviction, but they need your support. Please visit freeross.org, where you can contribute via various methods, including Bitcoin. Ross needs your help now more than ever. Visit freeross.org. That's freeross.org. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-453. It's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever you want to talk about here on this live edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Derek J. Derek J., tell me about, uh, is it DerekJ.me? Is that oh, right? the, it used to be. Okay. Uh, that site is no longer. It's TheDerekJ.com. TheDerekJ.com. You wanted to go with the .com thing. Yeah, I think it's important because it's easier to remember and it sort of brands my name. But I do different podcasts and that's what people can find there. Mostly podcasts and video. Sometimes about this very topic we're talking about. <laughs> well, this topic we're talking about is a 68-year-old man in France, Nicey France, who portrayed himself as a... Um, Male model through pictures. Uh, he didn't actually say he was the guy in the picture, but it seems fair that if you put a picture up, you're not putting a picture up of someone else when on, on a dating thing. And uh, lures some women to his apartment uh, for for sex only with a blindfold, and then turns out it wasn't the hot male model, ladies. So um, anyway, he probably used a little bit of online masking, maybe something like Pro XPN, um, in order to protect his location. Um, if he didn't, he's a fool. But what you can do with ProXPN is you can protect yourself from, say, your internet service provider who's saving all your surfing history, um, criminals who are out trying to to get your like your credit card numbers and your bank account numbers and all these other important things, steal your identity, governments and corporations which are limiting what you can see on the internet and saving your metadata. Simply download the app at proxpn.com slash FTL. It's for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, even Linux. Then uh, just connect to the Internet using the the program, and you're protected from all that. No more uh, sp excuse me, prying and no more spying. One account works for all your devices. No need to have separate accounts for each device. Just go to proxpn.com slash FTL. Use promo code FTL50, and that will give you 50% off the annual account. It's like 5 bucks a month. Through the Though FTL50 will get you the savings for a lifetime uh, of the account, no matter how long you keep it. So it's not just for a year or anything like that. And with that a premium account, you get unlimited bandwidth, servers all around the world, the ability to privately torrent. You can get past regionally blocked website and ProXPN.com doesn't keep records of your online habits. You get all that with a risk-free money day. Money risk-free 7-day money back guarantee proxpn.com/ftl promo code ftl50. Coming from archive.is. This situation with this uh 68, I don't go I don't know if I'm going to older gentleman, I'm, you know fine, we'll call him older. He uh, tricked a bunch of gals, at least uh, three of them, uh, from what the police are able to discern, and tried to do it on hundreds more, um, into coming in and 
into his apartment wearing a blindfold and getting paddled, um, and then whatever else happened. The fact of his strikeout record tells me that these women are the ones who are responsible for their actions. Like they, It's not rape in my classical definition. It's not even really fraud in the in the classic sense because so many women were able to see through his his um, veil here they, they were like okay this isn't really what i'm getting um they understood buyer beware why didn't these other women like why why do these women who were um not as careful why do they get to complain now now that they uh didn't get what they wanted okay so um my thought on this is that i immediately turned the genders around Okay. And so what if this was a um, – and the best thing I could come up with was a, a woman who's transitioning from a man to a woman, you know, how uh, – you know, a, 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 a transvestite, transsexual, or whatever the term is. Transvestite is someone who likes to wear the opposite gender's clothing. Fine. Um, the, what's the Madam Butterfly thing that that scenario where the, uh, you know, the, the, the gal who's not a gal tricks the sailor into sex for, you know, years. Not, oh my. You haven't heard this at all? Yeah, I have. Okay. But it's so still quite a scenario. If, right, right. It's a quite a scenario. Yes. And, you know, I guess if you're going to try to trick somebody in the bedroom, you kind of get what you get on either side. Mm-hmm. Um, like if, if. Guys, if you show up at some woman's house and, you know, like the you're blindfolded and a variety of things, don't be surprised if things aren't as you expected them to be entirely. Yeah. And, you know, I guess I'm not horrified by the results on either side. I'm trying to be fair here in my mind. And I think what this person did was wrong because it's fraud. Yeah. But I think that the punishment for this should be whatever reparations are for these women. And I don't know what the reparations would be. How do well, you repair? How do you make somebody whole in this circumstance? Because it sounds like they came for paddling and perhaps an orgasm. And I, we don't have any evidence that they didn't receive everything that they came for, right. except uh, sex with a very attractive man. Yeah, you should have been more attractive. I mean, well, what about uh, women who wear makeup? Isn't that a type of, you know, making yourself look it's prettier than you are? Of, of some sort, right? Yeah. It's so, mild deception. Right. So, Or plastic surgery. Imagine, uh, did you hear about the, the man, I forget, it was in China or Korea, one of those, um, one, one place or another, where a woman had plastic surgery, and when uh, oh, she had children, the man was so shocked at how ugly his children were, and he sued her for fraud because uh, clearly— he married a, a he beautiful woman. He wanted beautiful kids. He wanted to. He married a beautiful woman with the expectation he was going to have beautiful kids. Turns out he married a woman who had uh, had a great deal of plastic surgery and was beautiful, but she didn't have the genetics for beautiful kids. Right. So I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying I don't feel as bad for these victims as I would if it were just like straight up. Calling rape. this rape is a terrible thing to do. Yeah. I mean, could you imagine some guy on the street is trying to sell Rolexes or something, <laughs> you know, and you know it's not a Rolex watch. Uh, everyone, right. you know, he's got a 97% strikeout rate, as it seems like this guy does. Uh, and 97%, uh, he has a 99%, more than 99%. Okay, higher so, than ninety nine percent strikeout rate. So he's got a like a, a less than one percent success rate here. Do you feel bad for those victims uh, who get who buy a Rolex watch, uh, thinking that it is actually a Rolex that they're getting at a deeply discounted price? Because that's really what these women are getting is is a lot of sex for a deeply discounted price, free. And right, it, it, they're like, getting something they would otherwise have to pay a lot of money for. If the guy on the street, if you say, um, you know, he's got the Rolex watches, if you say, hey, um, is this a real Rolex? And he says it's a real Rolex, and you might be able to call that some level of fraud. That's fraud. But this guy said he would admit, right? That so he the never he apparently never did that, or at least that's the claim that we're working with on this story, which right. is admittedly rather sparse on facts. Um, but you know he did apparently didn't even like these gals didn't have the uh, b- b- the the foresight to say is that really you walking away from the B57 with the bomber the brand new bomber jacket on i mean when was the last time i think that's a douglas dc3 they just actually. wanted to believe when it when was the last time um some attractive male model flew a dc3 i, I mean it's just it's very strange it's unlikely and they just wanted to believe it, and so they went along with it. Uh, hence the woman flicking on the light after the sex and not before. If she really cared about what she was getting into, she would have flicked on the light beforehand. 
And I have a story, a brief story, about uh, something that happened in our very own Keene, New Hampshire. I use an app to find other men who might become a, a partner, and uh, one of them lied to me. So with his pictures, he was deceptive. I'll tell you uh, what happened when I discovered the truth. Very interesting. What's your? What are your thoughts on this? I, I'm I'm trying I'm I'm trying to come up with how this guy's wrong, but I'm coming short. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. He's wrong, but I don't think he's seven years wrong. Eight fifty five four fifty free free talk live. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor, period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order. KD offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free tactical scarf for a limited time with any body armor package. That's KDArmor.com. Come and take it. Attention, do you owe money to the IRS? or have years of unfiled returns? Are you being audited or receiving threatening letters? If the answer is yes, you need help. The IRS can seize your property and assets, impose fines and penalties, garnish your wages, and even go after your bank account. Don't take on the IRS by yourself. Don't let the IRS destroy your life. Take action now. Call our team of experts for a free and confidential initial evaluation. We've helped thousands resolve their tax problems. Let us help you. 800-261-7073. 800-261-7073. There are two types of advertising. Poll advertising, like Google AdWords, where a consumer goes looking for widgets near them and you try to pull them in with your ad away from the other widget purveyors. Then there's push advertising, where you push your message out about your great widgets and attempt to convince people who weren't thinking about widgets at all that what they need in their life right now is your widget. Radio is push advertising. In the course of a week, there are probably over a quarter million good folks listening to Free Talk Live, and they could hear your message. We are having a sale right now, and it ends May 15th. 200 30-second ads for $1,997. That's like 10 bucks an ad. Find another show with that kind of rate with 150-plus stations. Email me, Mark Edge, at marketfreetalklive.com, and I'll set you up. You don't need to have an ad. We'll produce it for you. Buy 200 30-second ads by May 15th and get them for less than $10 a piece. It's a big savings, and you don't want to miss it. Email me, mark, at freetalklive.com now. LRN.FM needs your help getting our satellite signal back on in Africa. Our satellite provider had us on at no charge from 2012 through February of this year when they pulled the channel off the air. Now we're trying to raise $22,000 to continue reaching people with the message of liberty in places where it's needed most. Please visit our Indiegogo fundraiser at africa.lrn.fm. Give what you can and share the link with your friends. africa.lrn.fm. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live. The amount of young people being brought up on criminal charges, sex offender charges, for taking nude photos of themselves and putting them online. It's just so sad to see these people having their lives just rolled right over the top of by these prosecutors that want to make it look like they're doing something good, but they're not doing anything that's helping anyone. There's no victim in this case. When you hear the term child pornography, what should come to mind, if anything, should be the idea of four Forcing children into sexual scenes and videotaping or adults, photo- photographing adults them. forcing children or somebody... Uh, Even if it's a child forcing another child, it's I think the force is the issue there. If you're talking about a 15-year-old girl voluntarily choosing to take a nude photo of herself to send to her boyfriend or to post online, no one forced her to do that. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Hey, it's Free Talk Live. 
you can give us a call. You can actually use Skype. Our username is LRN. That's as in Liberty Radio Network. LRN.FM on Skype. And you'll have to send us a friend request if you haven't called before. But it's easy, and I'll take care of it within 10 minutes or something like that. And then you can call us, and usually you'll sound better, if you've got a, especially if you've got a good sound set up. If not, well, you know, you can always call the regular old-fashioned way, 855-450-3733. It's Mark. And Derek J. 855 4 Fifty free. I am headed off to Freedom Fest, and I—it's going to be a lot of fun. It's out yeah. in Las Vegas. I'm and, jealous. Yeah, it's 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 fabulous. Um, it's it's not a short event either. The eighth, mm. ninth, tenth, and eleventh. Wow. And so, if you want to show up for the whole thing, you arrive on the seventh. So think seven July seven to eleven in Las Vegas for Freedom Fest. It's a really, lot of freedom. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a big event, and I think that the the big deal is the debate between Paul Krugman and Steve Moore. So Steve Moore is the uh, Wall Street Journal columnist and chief economist over at the Heritage Foundation. Paul Krugman is a Nobel Prize ac- winning economist and uh, New York Times columnist, and they're debating austerity versus stimulus, red state versus blue state, flat tax versus progressive tax, and this the only place you can see anything like this is at Freedom Fest, the world's largest gathering of liberty oriented folks in one place. All kinds of huge names are gonna be there from Peter Thiel, Steve Forbes, John Mackey, Harry Rosen, uh, George Gilder, uh, Alan Congressman Alan West, uh, Star Parker, Justin Amash. It's gonna be a big event. And me. Please come out and see me. Uh, (laughs) If you do sign up, please sign up at freedomfest.com. And when you do, click radio. Um, It's it's not the cheapest event in the world, but it is packed. And it's a great, great time. My wife and I are going together. Um, I really enjoyed it the last time I went. Seeing Paul Krugman debate economics is something I would want to tell my grandchildren about. Yeah, I I, I am going to be there for that event. And uh, yeah, love to be there with you. Just uh, sign up at freedomfest.com, click radio, or when if you use the telephone number when you sign up, mention Free Talk Live, and that way um, they'll know that their advertising is working. That's really important to them in this circumstance. They're sort of trying us out here. So it's freedomfest.com, and their number is 855 Free. It's 855 850 free for uh, Freedom Fest. And you can give us a call at 855 450 free <laughs> on Free Talk Live to talk about whatever is on your mind. Mm-hmm. Please do. Now, you were, Derek J., you were telling us of uh, something that occurred. You use it to online, do you online date or whatever. And yeah. You- I use an app called Grinder. It's very popular among gay men to find each other in a geographic area. It'll tell you who's around who also uses the app. And people could use because I could be reasonably sure that if uh, you know the uh, every whatever woman I wander across is probably going to be heterosexual and as good looking as I am, I can assume she's <laughs> interesting too. She's interested too, right? Um, but for me, it's a little more difficult. You yeah. can't. Uh, we don't wear armbands anymore, like Nazi Germany, and yeah. so you have to see um, some other. You way. do wear flowered shirts, though. <laughs> yes. Okay. But. So I encountered uh, one man who I went to go meet for a date, and um, I should have known because there are a couple of red flags. Anyone who does online dating will know about these red flags. All of the pictures that this man sent me were from a certain angle, way up high, sort of from the side. And yeah, this is sort this of is the known. MySpace shot. Yes. So the MySpace shot. Been around shot, a long time. Yeah. Is and, and, you know, folks that know how to take good pictures, what they do is they take a picture from high on an angle and they look up into the camera. And what this does is makes brings their, you know, their face into focus, but doesn't mm-hmm. show their body as well. And right. it's a way to sort of minimize one's waist size. Yes. That's exactly what he was doing, but I, I didn't see it. And so uh, some of the other red flags were that he was he was covering up his body or using uh darkening filters so that his, his most attractive features his face and his hair uh some of his jewelry were all highlighted but his body was not and so i don't mean to be entirely superficial here but i thought i was getting something else 
when I arrived, and at, you are the hot girl door. of the gay community. I mean, Thank you, you are a, uh, a attractive young man who's in good shape. You wear probably a size thirty pant. That's right. Um, and you know, I have actually seen you with your shirt off. You have actual abs that Aww. people can see, and you know, you you work out. You've got the pectoralis muscles, and you're a good looking guy. And so you, you have an expectation to sort of mate with people of that right. same. I'm looking caliber. for somebody who puts in a little effort in their body. I do it, so I expect them to also. But this man, I felt defrauded, okay? So I, I, I'm I, saying I'll give him a chance. Here I see right away when I arrive at his door that he's he a is not, yeah, he is he is chubby. Okay. He's fat. I'm just going to say he wasn't even like slightly overweight. He is a fat man. Okay. And uh, I said, all right, I'm not going to be that guy. I'm not going to be totally superficial. I'm going to give you a chance. He got me in the door already, so well, why don't I see what your personality is like? Well, hey, we hung out for a little bit, and I eventually, when things started getting heavy, had to say, I got to go. I got to leave, and it was sort of sudden. He asked me why, and I had to just explain and be completely honest. You know, I told him it was about his appearance and that I felt like I wasn't getting what I thought I would, you know, I wasn't getting what I thought. And this applies, I'm bringing this up because I heard, I don't know if this is true, but 50% of the marriages in America last year were from couples who found each other through online dating. Okay. And so this is taking over the a, the way a, that people are meeting now. It's the most standard way. It's a it's a it's a good way to sort of filter through people who are may not be looking to for the same things you're looking for. Right. So this is important. Communication, uh, making sure buyer beware, you know what you're getting with picture swapping. And then finally, exercise your ability to say no. Absolutely. That's what these women didn't do. And that's why I don't feel bad for them is because I've been in this situation where you don't get, you know, you're saying, hey, I thought I was getting an A plus and I'm getting a D minus here. I, I want uh, the A plus, so I'm going to leave. I'm going to walk out. This is not a match. And they could have done the same thing if they really cared about uh, buyer beware. Well, for me, it was uh, when I went on my online date with the gal who, to some extent, I felt misrepresented herself. Um, I didn't have the guts that you did. Um, I just sort of pretended like I wanted to uh, do something again so I could get out of the restaurant. And uh, instead, I never called her. You pretended that you were going to have a second date? I did. Why did you give her those expectations? Yeah, I was, I was, uh, it was cowardly. I mean, yeah. absolutely. Um, but it, I don't think much, I was ready at that point. I hadn't, you know, I mean, hadn't done a lot of dating. Yeah, but as much as it hurts the other person's feelings, to be completely honest with them, they know, they know what they've done. I, you think he well, didn't know about all his filters and and high up pictures? You think that if these women said, uh, "Hey, let me flick the light on. I want to see what you look like," and then they said, "Hey, you're an old man," do you think he would have been upset? I don't know. You can tell us. 855-450-FREE. Let's go to Tom calling in from New Hampshire. Listening on uh, freetalklive.com. Hey, Tom. Tom, You're on Free Talk Live. Uh, Yeah. Did you hear about that guy who tried to join the Islamic State and they turned him down? One of of the guys that uh, attempted to shoot up that, uh, that, that Muhammad drawing contest tried, right? No, no, one guy tried. They turned him down because they said he's too crazy and too brutal for them. No, I don't so think I've ever he heard of this guy, no. He returned to the United States and joined his local police department. Oh, where <laughs> <he just laughs> I guess that's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's the so joke. That was, okay. <laughs> okay. Very funny. I, um, man, yeah, whatever. I thought that was going to have some gay stuff in there for Tom. Yeah, yeah, Tom, I don't know. He, he, at least he didn't talk to you long. Let's go to Jerry calling in from Des Moines. Jerry, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Yeah, it seems like there's uh, mis- on the case you, you talked about with the rape and the 68 using of the term rape and the 68 year old dude. It seems like both parties are really kind of giving as good as they got because um, on one hand the, there is that misrepresentation for the 68 year old guy. Yeah, he's pretending to be but some kind of male model or something. Yeah, I mean that's just not honest. <laughs> and no. then, but then also. The other person is like, they are really trying to cash in on the seriousness of the term rape. They're trying to leverage something that really isn't, you know, it's like... No, that's actually the cops in this circumstance, because I don't think these gals went there... Um, and with the and say, hey, I was. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't think that that's the case. Do you want to? Do you want to stick on the line, Jerry? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. 
It's 855-450 free on Free Talk Live. This is Shaquille O'Neal. And the Shaquettes. Reminding you that anytime, anytime is a good time. Good time. For the cooling, drying, fresh scent of gold bond powder spray. Like after the gym. Or a crowded elevator ride. Or golf. Or working with farm animals. Or a hard day's work. Like sports casting. You said it, ladies. Stay cool with Gold Bond Powder Spray. Stay cool with Gold Bond. <laughs> Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. You've heard them on Alex Jones. You've seen them on Ancient Aliens. Now come see them live at Contact in the Desert 2015 in Joshua Tree this May. Experience four full days of science-centered lectures, workshops, intensives, and fieldwork on ancient astronauts, extraterrestrial intelligence, human origins, crop circles, contact experiences, UFO sightings, and more. Meet Chariots of the Gods author Eric Von Daniken, Ancient Aliens host Giorgio A. Sokolos, New York Times bestselling author David Wilcock, Dead Dog. Doctors Don't Lie author Dr. Joel Wallach, astronauts Edgar Mitchell and Story Musgrave, Earth Files publisher Linda Moulton Howe, author Jim Mars, and many of the world's most respected researchers and scientists exploring answers to one of the greatest questions of all time. More speakers, more panels, more things to do. Join us at the Joshua Tree Retreat Center, which has a long history of sightings and contact experiences. For advanced tickets and conference schedule, go to contactinthedesert.com. That is contactinthedesert.com. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Which order you can go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring time into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. 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 Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is... You ain't going to make... Wait a minute. Now. Wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Because you scared me! What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimespree.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at fff at fff.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's fff at fff.org. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. It's 855-450-3 or LRN.FM on Skype. 855-450-3733. Call in about whatever's on your mind. We've been talking about this story from France of this uh, 68-year-old man who represented himself as a much younger, good-looking man. And uh, I guess after 
three he did it to three gals we know for certain and one of them finally goes to the police the police apparently have in their quiver a rarely used charge called surprise rape um it's surprise rape and the, <laughs> that's what they charge this guy for he's uh, facing seven years currently so uh i i don't know what i think i, I think i don't like the term rape being involved in this charge and um, the name is even weirder i mean what rape isn't a surprise well, it's probably trans it, like it's translated to some extent too so okay getting a perfect translation is never that easy Still. let's go back to jerry calling in from des moines Jerry, you're on Free Talk Live. Yeah, thank you, guys. I really appreciate you coming back. It's just so easy to talk with you guys on, on the radio here. Um, yeah, the, the seriousness, I'm, a, I'm offended and appalled by this abusing, leveraging, beyond leveraging the term rape. I mean, if you let them get a, I, I believe in punishment fitting the crime, but if they get away with using rape, I mean, it's like, where is it going to end? Like, Food rape, you know, food rape would be <laughs> where I I put something in my own mouth that wasn't as tasty as advertised. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Thanks, thanks for the call, Jerry. Appreciate it. Eight fifty five four fifty free. I, I so if we turn this around as far as the genders, you were just talking about the MySpace shot, and this is a yeah. shot taken above somebody's head, looking down at their body. It's slimming. It's highly slimming as far as the shot goes. So if I you know, decided to go have sex uh, with a woman with a blindfold. I'd be wearing a blindfold, and she had taken these pictures, and I didn't quite get what she looked like in the, you know, I wasn't entirely sure, and I, mm -hmm. you know, just dove right in and had sex with a gal without ever, ever actually having seen her, and it turns out she's a she's a chunky gal um, when I'm, uh, you know, when I take the blindfold off. I don't think... That I, I mean, ask yourself, radio listener, the person who's offended by me saying that I don't think this guy should be going to jail. Ask yourself in that circumstance with that woman, because you know that could happen, right? Yes. Like somewhere, some woman could would be willing to to have sex with me. Just go take a look. Go take a picture. Look up Mark Edge online. You'll see I'm a dashingly good looking man. He's handsome. I'm a handsome man. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not young like you, but I'm a handsome man. So, yeah, some gal would say, sure, uh, you know, I'll sl slap a blindfold on that guy and have sex with him. Um, not every one of them would by any stretch. And if I didn't look, if I was disappointed when the blindfold came off, I can't claim rape, even if she sort of misrepresented herself in the process. No, because the time to do that is before the sex. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, don't have sex with people you haven't seen if you're going to be disappointed about what they look like. Let's go to talk Carl in Atlantic City. Carl, you're on Free Talk Live. You're listening on 1450. Whoops, I pushed, have not properly pushed the button. Carl. Yeah, WPG 1450. I'm just so ecstatic. Uh, the public schools in Atlantic City, they're going to butcher the sacred cow. 226.5 jobs are going to be cut. Wow. Finally. Well, look, I don't. They, they wouldn't answer me how many students they lost since Super Storm Sandy, or the casinos closing. But I, I would, I'm willing to bet two thousand. And the schools, you know, we don't want to cut anybody. We don't lose any. We don't want to lose any public jobs, even though eight to ten thousand people lost their jobs in the uh, private sector. Yeah, uh, and it's about time. You well, know, I'm because, offended by public ahead. schools generally, just just their very existence. The idea that we should all be forced to pay for what is v largely the the worst school in a given geographic area. The only thing that's worse than a government school is usually another government school. It's uh, you know, right. when, if you if they're compared to private schools, homeschooling, whatever it is out there, they perform under the mean. And if you if you're worried about poor right. people not going to school, that's an entirely different conversation. If we're talking about a means means based scholarship program, that's a different conversation than what we have currently, which is, uh, you know, low results, middle class welfare, which is what public schools are. Right, sixty percent graduation rate. I bet them, them other schools and private schools is probably a hundred percent graduation. The, st the story rate. doesn't even end there, Carl. Of the graduates right. of public school, on the average in the United States, 
20% are functionally illiterate. In some school districts, it's 40% of the graduates. So you're not just talking about, now I don't know, I didn't check your number as far as 60%, but I'll take your word for it. But if you were to say, you know, if, if let's say some of the worst yeah. school districts out there, 60% of people graduate, well, 40% of them um, are functionally illiterate. So you're talking about of the people that, that go through the government school system, they can't make half of them read. This, this isn't just about the parents. People love to blame the parents. When you have a kid half of the day, five days a week, and you can't get them to read by the end, you stink at this. You should be shut right. down and let somebody else try. We could shut down government school entirely and never, as a nation, spend another penny on schools and get better results than this crap. Well, never mind taking the initiative yourself and stop sending the check to these poor schools because they'll take your house. Yeah, if you if you try that, they will literally right. ch- attempt to take your house. Uh, I, I've no, I, uh, tried absolutely. to do this myself. My son's uh, unschooled, uh, we, you know, schooled, uh, homeschooled, I'd say is probably a better term. Right. Schooled at home. The town, these people that send their kids to the school, they don't send me any money to educate my kid. They take money that I would use to educate my kid to educate theirs. It's stinking thievery. They know it. Right. They won't Why? even look me in the eye. The principal won't even look me in the eye. Wow. Well, I guess not. Look up, If you look, you could look up what he makes, you'd be shocked. In New I Jersey, you can do that. New Jersey, by the numbers, you can look up any public service paycheck. Really? Now. How do you do that? And it's it's publicly Jer- available for anyone to search online? Yeah, New Jersey, by the numbers, look up. You can put their last name in, or you could go to the... Uh, the city they that you're looking at, and you can look it up, and wow. it's right there. So it's, it's a couple of years behind, but it gives you a good clue what they're making. Yeah. Well, Carl, I appreciate it. Thanks so much for the call. Thank you. Bye bye. Eight fifty five four fifty free. It's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. And nothing is more guaranteed to get me fired up than uh, than talking about government schools. I just don't have any use for them. They're <laughs> they wouldn't survive without having to extract money from you forcibly because they're so bad at what they do. Yeah, it's tough for me, and I'm sure many people, because I, like others, are di- and disconnected from paying for the schools in my local area. I rent, and so I don't really see the money get sent away uh, for these so-called services. But I can assure and, you the domicile in which you, from which you rent, sure. somebody is paying uh, school taxes on that. Right, and it's like that everywhere. But, um, you know, there are so few of the actual property owners that I don't even know if they could make a difference if they, they um, started complaining about this to their local a school district, or who do you complain to? I mean, how do you turn this ship around? I think what you have to do is you have to work from... Um, <laughs> You know, if if I had a plan to do this, what I would yeah. do is, is I would uh, move through this uh, the, the government system, try to get a voucher system put in place. Okay. Then once you get the voucher system put in place, you uh, then begin to means test that voucher system. So it's like, hey, look, why are we paying vouchers on kids that live in houses that are worth five hundred thousand dollars or more? And those well, parents seems a little af- invasive to, you know, require people to report their income. Okay, then don't have them report their income. Just look at the property value. Why are we paying uh, means-based uh, you know, school uh, scholarships, uh, or why are we giving school scholarships to kids that live in $5 million homes? Can somebody explain that to me? And then you back it down as, okay. uh, look, the, the fact is, is if you want a voucher, it's all cool. You just have to prove you're in the bottom 20% of earners. Mm. Here's what the threshold is. You hit under that, fine, we'll give you some kind of thing, or whatever. And then you back it down from there. I don't think you'll ever... Because I don't particularly want to see poor people get not get good educations either. But government they're schools not getting the, education. The worst, the worst choice for doing it. Yeah. I mean, the the people that claim that claim the the loudest that they want good educations for poor kids will send them all to schools that they wouldn't send their kid to. This, I mean, when you t- they they keep poor people in the same schools. Knife fighting and cussing is like uh, you know a, a required a requisite class. <laughs> I mean, th- these are they're terrible education. These things are like the demilitarized zone. They're like no man's land in World War One. They're awful places. They don't teach anybody anything. They they people walk out with PTSD. They're awful places. And yet, when people like you propose the abolition of uh, so-called 
public schools it's because or they don't schools. care about kids they care about teachers unions and nobody will say it everybody says oh god we love teachers i love teachers too they teach kids teachers unions have turned educators into greedy bureau greedy lazy bureaucrats that's a sad thing and nobody wants to say it if you want to cuss me out for it, well, you can't cuss, but you can come tell me what a bad guy I am. 855-450-3733. I wish my kid could get a better education out of the government. 855-450-FREE. In a trial by jury, the primary function of a juror is not to dispense punishment to the accused. It is to protect your fellow citizens from being unjustly deprived of their life, liberty, or property. As a juror, you can say no to unjust laws and prevent government abuses of power by refusing to convict. Legislative, executive, judicial, the fourth branch of government is we the people. Find out more from the fully informed jury association at FIJA.org. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 if you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Temporarily from Kalamazoo, Michigan, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Sunday, May 10th, 2015. Silver is trading at $16.47 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,188 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $245. Antiwar.com reports those Saudi military officials haven't been exactly clear on whether the proposed humanitarian pause in Yemen is going to actually mean a halt in airstrikes against the country. They are still piling demands on the Shiite Houthis, the target of their attacks. They are saying that the Houthis will have to fully cease all fire in the country and refrain from any movement of troops or artillery during the five-day period, and that the pause will immediately end if they don't. The five-day pause is scheduled to start at 11 p.m. Tuesday night, with an eye on allowing some humanitarian shipments into the country during the period. It is unclear if this will include easing the naval blockade on such shipments. Saudi military spokesman Brigadier General S. Sari continued with the mixed messages on the pause by talking up a new round of attacks against the Houthis, saying now is not the time for calm, it is time for punishment. Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs offers premium publicity campaigns designed to facilitate an organization's adoption of Bitcoin as a payment system. Bitcoin Not Bombs is fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. To learn more, visit BitcoinNotBombs.com. 
UPI reports a Missouri woman with the backing of the Satanic Temple is challenging the state's abortion laws that require a waiting period, stating they violate her religious freedoms and the state's Religious Freedom Restoration Act. Mary Doe filed lawsuit on Friday in Missouri Circuit Court against Governor Jay Nixon and State Attorney General Chris Coster after she went to a Planned Parenthood in St. Louis for an abortion. She was told she had to wait 72 hours per state law and was offered printed information and the chance to see an ultrasound of the pregnancy. In turn, Doe handed them a prepared letter. The letter begins, As an adherent to the principles of the Satanic Temple, my sincerely held religious beliefs are, my body is inviolable and subject to my will alone. The lawsuit said Doe's decision for the abortion was based on her deeply held religious beliefs that she alone should be responsible for making decisions about her body and is in violation of the so-called Religious Freedom Act. The Satanic Temple is a non supernatural religion with public lobbying efforts focused on the separation of church and state. The Satanic Temple is known for sparking controversies that include erecting Satanic Christmas displays and handing out Satanic literature in Florida public schools. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports a tornado killed one person in a rural part of North Texas on Saturday and, according to local emergency officials, destroyed at least two houses just days after a series of twisters tore through several Great Plains states. The twister touched down about five miles south of the town of Cisco, an area of farm and small ranches. It then traveled in a straight line and tore through several houses in its path, according to Eastland County Judge Rex Field, the local emergency management coordinator. Field said one person was killed in the twister. He could not immediately provide more information on the victim. At least two houses were destroyed in the area about 130 miles east of Dallas and other dwellings might have been damaged. Field said roads were partly flooded because of the storm, adding, we can't exactly tell what all we've just got yet. We don't even have everybody accounted for. In eastern Colorado, three tornadoes touched down in rural areas on Saturday. There were no reports of injuries or property damages from those we twisters. Tornadoes also touched down on Saturday in western Kansas and along the border with Oklahoma and Texas, but no injuries were immediately reported, according to meteorologist Liz Leitzman of the Weather Service's Storm Prediction Center. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Turning to Capitol Hill, House Republicans are considering their own version of the Violence Against Women Act. The GOP hopes their new No Punch Pretty Lady Bill will finally help the party appeal to female voters. No punch, no rape, pass law, women give big smiles at us again, big votes. Among its statutes, the bill would introduce harsher penalties for putting fists to women's face and proposes that if ladies smell nice like flowers, no smash lady. And what if pretty lady Al-Qaeda? What if she death panel? What if she Benghazi? Yes, in some cases, punch lady. In addition to increasing funding to shelters for crying ladies hurt from doing sex with bad guys, the bill also includes a clause complimenting the nation's women for losing weight. And in other headlines, Lady Gaga kidnaps Commissioner Gordon. A man who likes to move it, move it is still searching for the perfect song. And Rod Stewart is mistaken for an elderly aunt. This is the Onion News Network. It's Free Talk Live, and you can call in at 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733, or lrn.fm on Skype. That's our username is lrn.fm. Oftentimes, Skype will sound a bit better, but it's up to you, certainly. My name's Mark. And I'm Derek J. 855-450-FREE. You can call in and... Well, you can talk about whatever's on your mind here on Free Talk Live. Let's go right to the phones. We got Tom calling in from, looks like Louisiana. Tom, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? 
Hey, uh, I actually call in from Ankeny, Iowa here. Um, Is it Ankeny, Iowa? Time. Okay. Ankeny, Iowa, yes, sir. Got it. I just wanted to sort of interact with you maybe a little bit about the comments in the last segment there regarding public schools. Sure. Um, I'm pretty libertarian, maybe slightly conservative, and um, I think, you know, up until a couple of years ago, I probably would have felt very similar to the the way you felt regarding public schools, sort of, you know, waste of time, waste of money, um, very inefficient, very ineffective. Got married a couple of years ago, and actually my wife now teaches <laughs> into public schools, so I've gotten to see pretty up close. And, and I don't have a problem with somebody choosing to take a job in a public school. That's not what my um, concern is. My concern is people being forced in it. I, I, I think that there are many people who love what they do. They work mm-hmm. very hard within the system. Uh, I hope that it uh, doesn't sound like I'm vilifying teachers. If I have to vilify somebody, it's going to be um, yeah. you know, the government for forcing us to pay for it and teachers unions for yeah. driving, uh, you know, being the driving force. Yep. Yeah. And I, I can understand that and appreciate that. Um, the one part that you did uh, sort of mention there um, was specifically parent involvement, how that might not be really the factor. The factor of a, a lack of literacy among the kids as they graduate is, is really coming from the schools themselves. Uh, so, you know, we're here in Iowa. It's not too crazy urban. We're not Chicago. We're not New York City. But um, my wife teaches in one of the more difficult school districts. And okay. I can tell you for a fact, the teachers there, are really teaching their hearts out. But the problem is the lack of parent involvement. Um, That's really where the breakdown is. Now, right around the same area, there are other school districts that are doing exceptionally well here in Ankeny. The schools are great. Over in West Des Moines, the schools are awesome. The difference there is really the the parental involvement is really where it's at. You can throw a ton of money at the problem, but until the parents are on board and involved in the lives of their kids, you're not going to see any results. And that's really... In my mind, where the where the breakdown is, you don't think better schools that. could fix that, though. I think maybe running the school districts a little bit differently. Oh, I'm not talking about school districts. I'm, I'm not talking about school districts. I'm talking about at you know the, at the end of it, giving you know some kind of scholarship or means based thing or something like that. I mean, the charter schools seem to perform better than yep. public schools, even when they give poor people who one would assume don't have great parental involvement they you know those those kids scores go up mainly cuz they're broken up out yeah. of their neighborhood and mixed in with other kids that mm-hmm. they've got uh, you know that you know cuz that's really what it's all about is mixing the kids yeah. up exactly and also i think sometimes in those charter school situations you have class sizes that are also a lot lower which is also in my mind one of the biggest issues too the smaller the class size the more on task everybody's going to be the more control that teacher is going to have but it really comes down to I went to a private teacher, school, the best school in school town teacher. where I lived, and our class sizes were between 20 and 25. And that's what class sizes are all over America today. And they've been and, that way for a long time. Mm-hmm. Hey, Tom, how long or how long is the school day where you live? The school day runs from, I think, about 8.30 to, I would say, 3, 3.30. So the kids right, are right. in there for about seven, eight hours a day, five Every days a day, week. Yep. That sounds yeah. to me like more time than they get with their parents, most likely. So how can you blame the yeah. parents for not being involved enough when they're, they're in school for more time than they spend with yeah. their parents? Well, I tell you what, I'll keep my wife off the phone or you sit in your pool. But basically— I her, bet the parents suck. I'm not going to claim the parents are great, but the parents no, are the way no. the parents are. Yeah, and the right. kids are with the right. school teacher plenty of time for them to learn how to read. Okay, so I'm not letting I you off the hook saying, oh, it's parent involvement. No, and it's it's a combination of things. Here Here's what my wife, after teaching two years, this is her big takeaway. I took this job because I wanted to invest and be involved in kids and teach them, help them learn. Yep. But I've become basically a behavior management. Yeah. There, I don't have control of the classroom. There's no discipline in the classroom. I can't keep control of them. So I'm just managing behavior all day. I'm a behavior manager. But and the kids are coming here. A bunch that's of a problem with the district. Needs. I mean, that's that, so if I you take disagree. 25 bullies, yeah. no teacher can deal with 25 yeah. bullies. Every teacher has nope. to deal with one or two. And if you're yeah. able to take the bullies, mix them in, then you're going to have a better circumstance. Or you send the bullies to the bully mm-hmm. school or whatever mm-hmm. that might, you know, whatever that might yeah. be. Even punishment, like, like what, would it, what might it be like for kids if they were told, you know what, you just can't come back. You, until you can yeah. sh- ship up your, shape up your behavior, you're not allowed to come back. Because teachers yeah, can't do that. that. Would be an awesome, that would, that's my point. That would be an awesome thing. It would be great if the teachers could say that. So you're ready to be. So you're ready to learn. You're not going to be in the class, but they can't. 
and my teacher, or my wife, my teacher, my wife has a class where actually she has about 30 kids, and she, I, I'm sure she would say about 20 of them are really heavy on the behavioral side, and the other 10 have special education things. And so she is fighting the biggest uphill battle. She can't win that. And has absolutely no, no one can win that. From her, from her, nope. There's and no so way my, to win that. I mean, <laughs> this is this is what they're being asked to do. The, the, the incentives for the system are all screwed up. Then we throw teachers yeah. in there, and then libertarians look like the ones that hate teachers because you know we're acknowledging that no one can win this. We talked yeah, a little bit about exactly. consent. It's, it's, a, it's a very broken system. We talked about consent earlier and the people who have to pay for these schools, but let's talk a little bit about yep. the consent of the parents and or, uh, the teacher and the student, because you just brought up, Tom, that the teacher doesn't have the ability to consent or not to the student being there. The, I mean, that yep. is a travesty. The student does have an, doesn't have any say or consent in this situation, so yep. of course it's going to fail. So I want to apologize, Tom. I think you're right. I said that the, the school system as it exists today turns teachers into lazy bureaucrats. I should have said it turns them into demoralized bureaucrats, because it's not... Yeah. The, okay. the I, results I are similar, but the terminology is wrong, and I should have, shouldn't have said it that yeah. way. Yeah, and back to your original point there, really, regarding taxation. I So I'm paying probably, I'm buying a house in June, and we're looking at our taxes. They're going to be about $4,500. So Whoa. paying through the nose for education, where we're at, we're going to get 60% of that there. will be schools, right? Yep. But, yep. So to your point, I mean, if you're homeschooling, I think uh, the voucher system would be awesome. You have a voucher. And you can choose to send to the public school, to a charter school, to a private school, whatever your option is. That's up to you. If you want to homeschool, like it sounds like you guys are really into that, awesome. That can be verified. And then you would essentially be paying yourself and investing that money in your kid's education as you teach them yourself. If that wants to I be would your send back so every penny that wasn't part of the education portion of my property tax. I would either you know donate it to the fire department yeah. or whatever I would do because okay. I wouldn't want to take any money away from anyone else. Maybe I would send it to mm-hmm. an education fund. I don't know what it would be, but I wouldn't be wi- I'd be unwilling to take additional funds, but I certainly would be willing to take the funds yep. to offset it. Tom, I do appreciate the call. Thank you. It was so far a really great call, maybe best call of the night really awesome 855 450 free yeah you've got to really i have to really pick my words properly on here the microphone is mm-hmm. a heavy burden to bear you you need to be right when you say it and i said i got heated and i said uh, lazy bureaucrats and i should have said demoralized bureaucrats because that's really much more some of important. them are lazy well, certainly they are. The incentives and, are all there for them to be lazy. And that's only and my, demoralizes the demoralized ones even more. <laughs> well, yes. Let's go to Ralph calling in from Jersey. Ralph, you're on Free Talk Live. Yeah. Uh, thank you for taking my call, guys. Let me uh, talk about the issue of police and the blacks, okay? In the wake of what's still uh, the going uh, story or development going on in uh, Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland. Now we have, you know, the uh, Justice Department uh, take, investigating or proving into the the policy and practices of the police department in there. They, uh, did, did they ever believe, think that, you know, the mayor of uh, Maryland, you know, Stephanie Rawlings Blake, is also worthy of being investigated for the conduct mm. uh, of inciting, okay? Provoking uh, the mayhem, the chaos, the looting, the burning, the lawlessness, and the criminality that went on down there. What, what we're looking at right now in this our country, not only this about the killing of a uh, police officer, the latest one being the one in, in Mississippi. How did she uh, incite you know? the rioting? Well, you know, give them space to destroy. What's the comment? And, uh, there in, was in that the comment. Magazine, Thank you for the call, Ralph. Yeah. 855 450 This is Shaquille O'Neal. And the Shaquettes. Reminding you that anytime. Anytime. Is a good time. Good time. For the cooling, drying, fresh scent of gold bond powder spray. Like after the gym. Or a crowded elevator ride. Or golf. Or working with farm animals. Or a hard day's work. Like sports casting. You said it, ladies. Stay cool with gold bond powder spray. Stay cool. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Hi, Chuck Woolery here. I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I don't like those patches either. But I've found something that works, Australian Dream Arthritis Pain Relief Cream. It's a great product. Doesn't smell or burn, isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee. You can use the whole jar. If you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt that you'll send it back because this stuff works. Australian Dream is available at Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Walmart, Target, and other drugstores and supermarkets everywhere. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American. Covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. Are you getting squeezed by the economic downturn? Hey, you were doing fine. Then, all of a sudden, you're having a tough time paying your family's credit card bills. Maybe you were downsized or even lost a job, but you still owe 10 grand or more in credit card bills, and you just can't afford the minimum payments anymore. We're here to help. We are the Genesis Debt Partners. We know the secrets to negotiate better terms with your creditors. Make a free 10-minute call right now and learn how we can help you get out of debt. 800 981 7590. If you owe 10 grand or more in credit card debt and you want to learn how you can pay less and get out of debt faster, call right now. 800 981 7590. 800 981 7590. Get out of debt now. 800 981 7590. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, 855-453-free. It's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind here this evening. It's Mark with you. And Derek J. 855-450 free. Have you heard about Bitcoins? Well, I think they're the going to be the next wave in what currency is. I think they're going to be a foundation for the monetary system of the future. That's my call on it. They're the bee's knees. I think they're awesome, and they're very empowering to the, the customer and to the, um, the, the merchant. Not so empowering to the government or to... Big corporations. So if they're going to have a downfall, that would be the reason why. But I, they, they seem to be chugging along, and they're getting more and more popular. There's more transactions every day, at least every month. Um, probably not every single day is there a new transaction record. 
If you're interested in getting Bitcoins or Dogecoin or Dashcoin or Litecoin, you can do it from ExpressCoin.com. They make it fast, safe, easy, and inexpensive. They're a licensed money services business. You can get, you get your cryptocurrencies with a money order or check by starting off at ExpressCoin.com. doesn't matter if you're in the U.S. or Canada. They actually have an app, too. Use the coupon code FTL to get up to $40 worth of your cryptocurrency with no fee at all. ExpressCoin.com, coupon code FTL to get uh, no fee at all on under up to $40 worth of uh, your crypt favorite cryptocurrency at ExpressCoin.com. We didn't say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Oh, that's right. It is Mother's Day. You know, it snuck up on me today. I, snuck up on you. It's been on the calendar all year. I, 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 I've been talking about it. I've oh, been that's right. I've been selling uh, Sherry's Berries. Yes. I just... Didn't really apply it to me in my life. We don't really do holidays at my house. Yeah. I have the excuse of being a Quaker, right? Um, but honestly, the the you know nobody else in my house. What is that like a Jehovah's Witness where you don't celebrate the other holidays? Yeah, so- the idea is is that uh, why would you have one day to designate how much you love your wife or Party. your mother? Yeah, it's fine for, for, for party. I think that's the best reason for it, and I'm I don't get all stuck on it either. We also don't really. My wife and I don't really buy gifts for each other. Not even like little small things. Oh. Generally not. If I do something, it's very uh, special. My son went out and picked a bunch of dandelions yeah. and brought them in for his mother. Isn't that cute? It's much better than going to the store and buying, um, you know, crap and that sort of thing. And she'll love it. And if she'll we put do, them in a vase yeah, and pretend that they're a, a bouquet. She did. They were a bouquet. She made it. Yeah, like it's <laughs> awesome. I love dandelions. Um, I I don't know why people get all bent out of shape over them. And they you don't show, want them in your yard. So they show that it your, works. your 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 soil is is healthy. Uh, they're beautiful and yellow. And then you can you know they, there's an action toy that comes out of the end. You can grab that thing <laughs> off and blow on it. Yep. I mean, dandelions are awesome. I don't know why people don't like them. <laughs> We've got them all over our yard. I t- whenever my wife goes out to dig them up, she's a Yankee, so I don't really know that much. I'm from the South originally. Yeah. I don't know anything about dandelions, really. Um, I get rid of them. I was in the garden today getting rid of them. Right. You're Yankee, too. You're from yeah. Jersey. Yeah. And... Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you know, like, oh, dandelions. I love them. I love them. I think they're really beautiful, and I like them a lot. We've got some other purple flowers that somebody probably thinks is a weed, too. I have no idea, but uh, it's all over the place. And right now, our yard is full of flowers, yellow and purple. Who Yay. doesn't want that? I want that. Well, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Yep, happy Mother's Day. And, uh, you know, it's the moms that do it all. There's no relationship. I get to see this with my son. There is no relationship like that of mother and child because mm. it's a really special relationship. There's just nothing. You, it can't be replicated. Mm. Certainly there's no relationship like father and child or uncle and child or aunt and child. They're there's all no, special, but they don't all get a holiday. They're not mom. You know, <laughs> they're just not mom. When I was in, I was in prison for eight and a half years and my mother came is basically three times a month, um, or, maybe two, but- you know, I mean, there's nobody else was doing anything like that. I'm sure there are exceptions, but when I see kids on, on the playground and they scrape their knee and the waterworks start flowing, mm-hmm. it's mom. Oh yeah, yeah. I I try to be, you know you have to be there as a father. You have to be there for those circumstances too. Um, I I find that I'm always trying to sort of move him past the pain, and I wonder whether I should be doing that or not in that huh. circumstance. You mean like not acknowledging that he's No, no, I give something? him a hug and, and wait, but then, okay. then I'm like, oh, maybe I'll tell him a little joke or something like that. Um, oh, that is good. Yeah, my dad always used to do that. I hit my head on, on some concrete one time, and he checked the concrete. <laughs> it was like, you didn't hurt the floor, did you? It's funny. Yeah, it's... and it made me laugh, and you move on, you know? <laughs> that is a good one. I would not have expected that. Yeah, and this, uh, you know, um, in in the case with Jack, I, um, you know, just, I think it was this morning or maybe it was yesterday. I'm not sure what it was. I said, I'm going to tell you a secret as he's, uh, you know, he's crying uh, and he likes secrets <laughs> right now. So he's really into secrets. I'm yeah. Like, and I, and I get down in his ear and I whisper poop and oh no, he, he freaked he, out. He, he loved no, it. no, he thought it was hilarious. I've got, I mean, this is, that's a very, yeah, funny so, thing to him. right. So that was pretty much it. Let's go to Bill calling in from Seattle. Um, Actually, I'll wait for the the board up here. Okay, Bill, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi. What's on your mind? I'm calling you from Seattle. Yeah. I wanted to bring up a uh, example of uh, responsible drug use that might be interesting to the listeners. Okay, responsible drug use. All right. In in 1863 to 69, 
The Central Pacific hired thousands of Chinese to help build the Transcontinental Railroad. Yep. And they outcompeted the Europeans, mostly Irish, even though they smoked opium on Sundays, their day off. Hmm. Yeah, um, this is, it, it's absolutely true. This is sort of the basis of the yellow man laws in yep. uh, But what were West? the Irish doing every other day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, they were, they were all competing against other drug users. Well, they were drinking alcohol, and you could say that was one of the reasons they were so screwed up on Monday morning. But, but the fact is, I, the Irish and the, rest the, of the uh, week. Chinese did. Huh? <laughs> He's just making Irish people jokes. I, I mean, I don't know whether every Irish person was drunk or not. They probably weren't wealthy enough to get drunk. Go ahead, Bill. Well, the idea is that, that it's all about dosage and frequency of use. Uh, yeah. If opium were legalized tomorrow morning, the vast majority of people are going to emulate the Chinese example. They're not going to run out and become morphine and heroin addicts. They're you think more people would do it? Because, I mean, when we look at decriminalization in places like Portugal and um, even there's there's some level of decriminalization that went that's gone on in Amsterdam and um, in Netherlands and that sort of thing. And usage seems to go down amongst, uh, you know, people that people that were doing it like lots of Amsterdam will attract people who do heroin from other countries to come there because they know they're safe. So it's not the quantity of people that gets uh, the but it's the, the usage of sort of the individual. It's like. Yeah, well, you know, maybe maybe it's not worth doing. Well, smoking opium is another form of down downsizing because you're you're taking a lot, a lot less. Uh, it's very more, very difficult to become addicted to opium by smoking it. Okay, you have to smoke it like ten, 10 to fourteen days straight to become addicted. Now, how many of your closest friends are going to use opium in that way? They're going to use it on the weekends and only on the weekends, like well, the Chinese. I don't know if that's a fair the caveat. Chinese are obviously. I've smoked opium, and I could see it becoming addictive pretty quickly. Um, I don't advocate for drug use in general, but uh, it it could it is possible to use opium responsibly. I agree with the caller, but I would say it is highly addictive, so be careful. Well, I think that you're discounting the, the brains of the American people. We do that. You know, we're not stupid. Most of us never become alcoholics. Because even though that's the most addictive drug out there. I don't know if it's the most addictive, but I, I think it has those properties. Yeah, fair point. Bill, I do appreciate it. Thanks so much. 855 450 free. What do you think would happen if they legalized drugs tomorrow? 855 450 3733. Free Talk Live. It's time to build your own emergency food stockpile with the industry leader, My Patriot Supply. Once you try them, you'll know why so many Americans like you have made them part of their emergency preparedness plan. Experience the My Patriot Supply difference today with this unbelievable offer. Right now, a four week food supply is only $99, and that includes free shipping. That's 50% off the online price. Call 800 274 3070 to claim yours. Limit two per caller while supplies last this offer isn't available online so you want to make sure and grab this opportunity to get prepared today 800-274-3070 to get your four-week food supply for the incredible price of only 99 dollars, and it'll be shipped to you completely free call 800-274-3070 right now that's 800-274-3070 to claim yours while supplies last don't wait call today Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? 
if freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on to join the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. You can help by joining the AMP program for just $5 a month at amp.freetalklive.com and getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-FREE here on Free Talk Live with Mark. And Derek J. You can call in, bring up whatever is on your mind. You know, it's called Free Talk Live for a reason, because you can call in and call talk about what you want. 855-450-FREE. I want to tell you about the Pocket Power Plus. Well, we have these devices that we carry around with us that need battery power. A lot about battery power. If you have a smartphone, that thing's dead by noon in all likelihood. The Pocket Power Plus isn't just like every other battery that keeps your uh, smartphone going. You can plug in your laptop. Um, uh, you know, it has adapters for several different adv- devices, including even, like, jumping your car. Wow. Uh, it's got jumper cables that are included with it. This is a powerful little device. It's a... Uh, Oh, shoot. Ian told me it's like lithium laminate technology. It's some kind of new technology in batteries that makes it better in some way or another. Um, It lasts longer and has more um, oomph, as it were. You can tell I'm not an expert in this, but, uh, you know, my my co-host Ian has investigated it thoroughly, and he is. Um, But you can get a discount on it. Because I know, like, you know, getting new technology, generally not the cheapest thing in the world. Pocket Power Plus, you can get it for half price by going to PocketPowerPlus9.com. That's us. PocketPowerPlus9.com. Use coupon code FTL to save even more. So PocketPowerPlus9.com and use coupon code FTL. That's FTL as in free talk live. And avail yourself of this new battery technology. Derek J., I can't, I can't for the life of me remember what it was that you said you were uh, wanted to talk about. It's just it's slipping my mind. What did you have? Well, anti-government resistance is one, yeah. now the beating heart of the GOP. At least that's what one man at the Seattle Times is saying. Geez, Seattle Times doesn't that sound doesn't sound like a liberal rag trying to uh, <laughs> trying to, to vilify all the Republicans? I just think it's hilarious when the uh, the well. The, wait a minute, vilify? I saw this as a good thing. <laughs> right. Well, I suspect I don't I don't expect to hear that from this guy, but okay, maybe I'm just wrong. I, you know, I'm uh, one of the groups that I'm in on Facebook. Uh, one of the the little liberal hand ringers comes in and says. Thug is the new N-word. You know what? Thug is not the new N-word. You know what the N-word is? The N-word. Not thug. Thug doesn't have 
centuries of of uh, vi- bile behind it. It doesn't mean you know you can't use it against everybody of a certain uh, skin color yeah. to, to vilify them. Thug, if you don't want to be thug called a thug, could be different skin colors. It's not yeah. like thug is only black. Right, thug is. If you don't want to be called a thug, don't act like a thug, and you won't be called a thug. Yeah, I mean, there's a that whole that goes for government workers too. Good point. Some folks thought it was inflammatory. Some said it was irresponsible. Others, absurd. Still others, disappointing. Those are some of the words affronted conservatives used in emails last month to describe my column on the 20th century, uh, 20th anniversary of the Oklahoma City bombing. In it, I noted how Timothy McVeigh's act of domestic terrorism shed light on a movement of like-minded zealots yeah, motivated. <laughs> okay. He thinks all Republicans want to blow up government buildings. Hmm. That's what his claim is. 20 years ago, it, so this is uh, Leonard Pitts Jr. for folks who, who yes. want a little background on this guy, and uh, apparently he published a pretty inflammatory article. But uh, he's responding now. He says, 20 years ago, I wrote, the— idea of anti-government resistance seemed confined to a lunatic fringe operating in the shadows. That's because we didn't the have the internet. We didn't see what the government was all about. We didn't have Ed Snowden revealing that these people were looking at everything we write and say. Yeah, and the rest of the world sees it pretty differently. Americans, even with the internet, are still pretty shielded from reality. This is why I thoroughly believe... I, I agree with Al Gore. There are two Americas. And there well, should he be... He said that? Yeah, he did. There's, regarding who are the two Americas? Well, he wanted to bring them together, the, the, <laughs> left, the left and the right. Yeah, and no thanks. Let's just let the two Americas have their two different governments. No, we must unify them and make them hate each other. I, the best I can come up with, besides creating basically two Washington, D.C.s with two sets of bureaucracies that people could sort of choose between— yeah. That would be kind of cool, though, wouldn't it, from a federal standpoint? Yeah, it's almost like people have a freedom of association or something. Yeah, they might have that. But why not, um, you know, at the very least, minimize the power of the federal government, stop jamming more and more rules down people's throat by using this uh, unconstitutional federal government, and let the states, uh, you know, say, that way people can migrate to states that are better for them. I really think that... This gentleman who lives in Seattle and really probably doesn't meet very many Republicans on a regular basis because they don't <laughs> hang out in Seattle much. No. Uh, I mean, he, he deserves to have the liberal government he wants. He deserves that. Sure. So uh, 20 years ago, he said that anti-government resistance seemed lunatic fringe. 20 years later, he says, it's the mainstream. The beating heart of the Republican Party. Please. The Republicans love government. They call into this show all the time talking about how they want things like more border patrol and let's attack this place or that place. or the Yeah, cops, more guns. It's never enough. The we cops need a bigger are right military. about this or that. What gov- what, <laughs> the Republicans, uh, like Democrats love government bureaucrats. Republican lo- Republicans love government bureaucrats with guns. <laughs> That's all the only difference. Uh, The article continues, and while certainly no responsible figure on the right advocates or condones what he did, speaking of Timothy McVeigh, it was just as certain that McVeigh's violent antipathy toward Washington, his conviction that America's government is America's enemy, has bound itself to the very DNA of modern conservatism. No, that's been around for a long time. I remember even before my time, I, I saw video of... Ronald Reagan saying the nine scariest words in uh, the English language are, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. help. Yeah, I think it's, um, I do think that it's gotten... It's a long-standing tradition of it's conservatives strong, to not trust the government. But I think that people have a bigger voice now with the internet, and this of a course bigger is, voice. Oh, they've got blogs. Big deal. They can they could write things in blogs. Oh, they've and, got YouTube, and they can amplify their voice in a way that they just didn't have a decade ago or two decades ago. We're talking about the President of the United States going in front of everybody and saying the the people from the government here to help is a scary thing. I mean, what's more amplified than that? Yeah, I, I don't know. Was he the the government? Uh, was he the president of the United States at the time he said it, or I don't know. I wasn't uh, around. Once he, uh, or once he got into office, because once he got in the office, he then he, he is the government. He so. wasn't particularly small government at yeah. that point. Just in word, not deed. So it is. Depending- some would claim that uh, it was the attempt on his life was uh, attempted by some shadowy group, and he and Reagan fell into line. So there you go. The article continues. 
Depending on your religious outlook, a fortuitous coincidence or superfluous evidence of God's uh, sense of humor, that a few days later comes news of conservatives accusing the federal government of trying to take over the state of Texas. It seems the four branches of the U.S. military are gearing up for Operation Jade Helm 15. That's interesting. Have you heard of that one? No. It sounds I, like a really weird name. There's always some conspiracy theorists talking about, oh, they're having this, uh, yeah, but this military a... exercise or that military exercise. No, and... but I heard this one all over. It's a shame, but on a long drive, I was listening to um, a, a liberal uh, radio talk show, and they were talking. They were making fun of the conservatives who believed this, that basically uh, it seems like the— Governor of Texas or one of the um, mayors Rick, of Rick a Perry. large town. Okay. No, I don't know if it was. I don't think it was Rick Perry. It was okay. one of the mayors of maybe Austin or something was saying, well, I want to keep an eye on the military during this uh, operation. If they're going to be in Texas, I want to make sure that they're not replacing our police force or taking over and, and taking people's guns, which, of course, Texans are afraid of. And, and lots of people are afraid of. So I didn't think it was that crazy that we would want to keep an eye on what government agents with guns are doing. But. Apparently, the liberals thought this was laughable. It, it, maybe they were intending to do it. Maybe they weren't. But I think that uh, the governor, that's the right thing for the governor to, to I say. I agree, but he backpedaled on it and was all ashamed. So anyway, this uh, Operation Jade Helm is what we're talking about. It's an eight-week training exercise across seven states. And so the uh, intention was so that American soldiers could, uh, military could get practice in different terrain. That's but right. It's but... terrain in the U.S., which scares people. Like, Jeez, I, th- I would think you could get all the types of terrain in Texas. Yeah. Practically, except for like snow and stuff. What do you think is anti government sentiment now the heart and beating soul of the Republican Party? Are the parties too far broken to be uh, brought together? 855 453. Well, I did it. I finally left the empire behind. And now that I'm safely settled in Chile, I'm gathering with others like me to build a new community called Fort Galt. Fort Galt is designed to be the ideal home base for professionals and their families to live and work in peace. If you're ready to ditch the super state and bring your business to freer lands, visit us online at fortgalt.com. That's fortgalt.com. Indefinite extension of the human lifespan is coming. But is it coming soon enough for you and me? That's the $80,000 question. I say $80,000 because that's what it costs to have your head cryonically frozen by Alcor. I've committed to do it. I got a life insurance policy, and I made them the uh, beneficiaries. Bam, my best shot at living forever. Interested? Contact them at Alcor.org. A-L-C-O-R dot O-R-G. Mention my name, and I get a free year of membership. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year's keynote speeches and panels will be announced via the Keenvention blog and Facebook, so stay tuned there for the latest. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenvention this October 30th through November 1st. 
Tickets are available now at a special early bird price of just $50 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $50 price only lasts through the end of June, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more and look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Stouffer's, helping bring your family together with wholesome dinner options, even on the busiest of nights. Find dinner table ideas to bring your family together at letsfixdinner.com. To get kids involved in dinnertime conversation, ask specific questions, not broad ones. Instead of what happened today at school, try what was the best thing that happened today. The more specific you are, the more they'll have to say. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-FREE. If you're toting around your smart gizmo thing and you want to catch us on the run... You can tune in to our streams at m.freetalklive.com. That's our mobile thing. It's really just got the listen uh, listening options there, but it's a great way to listen, and all the options are there. So it's m.freetalklive.com to you know log on and see what's going on on our website there on uh, your mobile device and listen that way. You probably should have it plugged in either to the Pocket Power Plus or your car or something like that, or your you know wherever your desk is. Uh, because, well, battery power on these uh, devices, not so hot. Yeah, um, so go, go ahead. Apparently, anti-government sentiment is the, the claim here is by this columnist who's, you know, just hates Republicans, apparently. Um, it is that uh, somehow anti-government sentiment is the beating heart and soul of the Republican Party now. Well, yeah, this is part of the divide and conquer of the liberals and conservatives. Like, they're laughing at each other. And, um, yeah, it's so much of that. And I really have to ask myself, if you're a liberal or a progressive and you don't hate the government at this point, what the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, you're not paying attention. Right. I mean, you know, like the guy who promised you hope and change said that you were going to get a transparent government and you got the least transparent government of our lifetimes. Yeah, promised to close fool. Guantanamo Bay, right? <laughs> got reelected anyway. You are a fool. Yeah. I mean, that's— I mean, and, and a lot of people will say, well, he's not Bush. Well, no, he's much worse. I mean, if you support cannabis Bush legalization— Bush had the largest growth of, uh, the largest growth of uh, medical, uh, excuse me, of, in, in the medical field by the government up to that point. So did Obama. What's the big difference? Well, the biggest difference in my mind, when I think Obama's legacy, uh, to me, it's going to be something different for everyone, but— The ACA. Af- no, it's—to <laughs> me, it's the raids of— states where cannabis is legal that the feds continue to raid them um places like denver colorado where it's famously legal to have cannabis uh, and the feds come in and intrude and and take somebody's business away i mean what kind of certainty can you have in a business if the feds can just come in and take your property i mean uh, and this is happening eight times as much as it did under bush but no one talks about it yeah so anyway back to this article where uh right-wing conspiracy theorists online and on radio are claiming the exercise is actually a pretext for a federal takeover of the lone star state with get this abandoned walmarts to be used for the processing of prisoners now that is it sounds ludicrous yeah. yeah No, there's all this stuff about FEMA camps floating around. It's been going around for like 10 years. Yeah. I mean, I really wish I knew. A lot of it's hearsay, though. I'd like to see some hard evidence. I I They've had some videos of some places and and that sort of thing. There certainly are. That's not evidence, okay? It's not. And I just, I mean, I I can't go for it because it's, it's just been going on so long. And... You, whoever you are with the conspiracy theory, who do you think you are to um, know what the government's doing? You're just somebody 
depositing something. Right. The problem with one of the problems with the internet, and it's great the way we can disseminate information, is is that you don't know who is disseminating the information. Okay, so we know that a certain percentage of the population are paranoid schizophrenics, right? Sure. And a certain po- percentage of the population are really great writers, right? Yeah, uh-oh. I'm seeing a Venn diagram of overlapping. <laughs> That's exactly it. Okay. There's going to be a certain percentage of the uh, of the of the, the the population on the internet who are both paranoid schizophrenics and really good writers. <laughs> yeah. And this is a problem. When you put a really good writer who's a paranoid schizophrenic out there, he sees a helicopter, he thinks it's the government coming right. after them. We've had people call like this, and you know, just because you have two facts doesn't mean that they're related. Yeah. The thing is, is I agree with these people that they're right. To be distrustful of government agents. I mean, with the revelations that have come out from Edward Snowden of warrantless wiretapping, a collection of metadata, just wild collections of people's private information for seemingly no purpose whatsoever, um, there's they have a good reason to be distrustful. But you need to have evidence before you start making claims like there's a federal takeover happening and they're going to be using abandoned Walmarts as, well, as prisoner the, the facilities. The problem is is that they, you know, essentially the evidence for this is the claims that came before it and the claims that What's came that? before it. Well, just the claims. That's all. There's, there's these right, fear right. camps. Oh, yeah. Some guy reported, okay, well... Show me the evidence. It's okay? like it's all right trails. Be- I mean, you you keep hearing this crap over and over again. So far, nothing that looks like evidence is out there. Yes, there are some crisscrossing clouds in the sky. Not evidence. So here's part of the problem. The article continues, nor is this being laughed off by conservatives in positions of authority, this theory here. To the contrary. Well, that's the problem with having a democracy, Mr. Democrat. The problem with a democracy is you need to appeal to a large base. Mm. And if you if you don't, then you will not be in office any longer. If a large amount of Republicans are worried about whether or not the government is going to take them away to Walmarts and uh, sell them into slavery or whatever the hell it is that they think is going to happen, then you as a Republican Republican need to pander to that. If you do not pander to that, you will not be in office for very long. That's why democracy stinks. Here's the reason. Because half of the people on the planet are stupid. <laughs> right? Like an IQ, the average IQ is 100. Hey, speak for yourself. Frankly, I don't think uh, 100's particularly smart. So, I mean, and, and, and half the people are below that. Now, that's just one type of intelligence. There's lots of types of intelligence. But sure. when you ask the average person to make decisions as far as politicians, you have to say that making a decision as far as politicians go is also in a form of intelligence. Well, wait so a therefore, minute. half of the population is going to be bad at that. No, people are good at making decisions about which they have an incentive. So if I'm choosing a, a best a piece of electronic equipment, I'm going to shop around because I've got every incentive. I'm going to use that thing, and I have to spend my own money on it. The incentives are totally different when it comes to politics because people generally aren't invested in it. Sure, they have to cut a check to Uncle Sam Well, they're Sam invested in, in while, what they're going to get, but they're not going to invest in what they're going to lose. Right. Well, they're not going to spend hours researching all of the different candidates. A lot of people do. They spend l- hours and hours trying to figure out which candidate, you know, y- months. Okay, which do they spend more effort on? Which are you more incentivized to, to spend your time on, which is the most valuable asset that you've got? Politicians or ice cream? If you listen, it's going to be ice cream. If you listen to talk radio, there is going to be basically from now until the election in November 2016, you're going to hear about nothing but almost nothing. The, the, I mean, you're going to at least hear every day about the presidential run. Now, I understand the presidential run is the one that you have the least amount of control over because your vote is, you know, just a, I, I call it a tiny drop, drop in the bucket. It's a drop in the ocean. And I guarantee most Americans still know more about Cherry Garcia than they do it uh, has Ted che- Cruz. Cherries and chocolate. That's right. So let's talk about Ted Cruz. I'd rather have Cherry Garcia as the president than Ted Cruz. Texas governor, you were wrong, it's Greg Abbott now, oh, has, has okay. ordered the state guard to monitor the exercise to safeguard Texans' civil liberties. Fine. Boy, what a criminal, huh? 
<laughs> he sounds terrible. Yeah. Well, like, why would a, a liberal have some problem with this? So, okay, so he authorized the state guard to monitor an exercise of the federal government in his state. Isn't that well within his right? And shouldn't we well, be does, watching what the governments do? But He's what just does monitoring. monitor mean? I mean, does he, it mean, he means watch them. He'd take a look at the news every once in a while. I don't know. Texas Rep. Louis Gomer has asked the military to change the exercise. Senator and presidential wannabe Ted Cruz said he checked with the Pentagon, and while he accepts that it has no plans to conquer Texas, how magnanimous of him. <laughs> it says, already has. I understand the reason for concern and uncertainty. Because the Obama administration, quote, has not demonstrated itself to be trustworthy. Well, I, what a surprise. Republicans don't trust Democrats, and Democrats don't trust Republicans. <laughs> I mean, I can't believe this guy makes a living writing a column, frankly. Well, he says, uh, forgive me if I don't spend a lot of space pointing out that this is stupid, though I can't resist asking. <laughs> if the Navy, Army, Marines, and Air Force were indeed planning to take over Texas, just what does Governor Abbott think the State Guard would be able to do about it? Well, it, it, it's, uh, it's a secret. This would be a secret takeover. And frankly, if Texas tried to resist, um, it would be the public sentiment that would drive the military off. So I would say that it would, it would be the press corps that would do the most in this circumstance, get some video of whatever the Navy, the Army, and the Air Force are doing to take over de Texas. If people are genuinely worried about this, a politician probably should respond to that worry. There is, however, a more pressing observation to be made, Mark. After all, chances are good you've never heard about any of this, and you hadn't. I hadn't heard of it. 855-450 free. Go ahead. The story hasn't garnered major headlines, and that hearing of it now, you're not terribly surprised. There's more to this story. 855-450-3733. Do you think the government's trying to take over Texas? Do you think this is uh, this is proof that that Republicans are stupid? Whatever. 855-450-3733. <laughs> this is Shaquille O'Neal. And the Shaquettes. Reminding you that anytime. Anytime. Is a good time. Good time. For the cooling, drying, fresh scent of gold bond powder spray. Like after the gym. Or a crowded day. Or golf. Or working with farm animals. Or a hard day's work. Like sports casting? You said it, ladies. Stay cool with Gold Bond Powder Spray. Stay cool with Gold Bond. <laughs> Hi, Chuck Woolery here. I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I don't like those patches either. But I've found something that works. Australian Dream Arthritis Pain Relief Cream. It's a great product. Doesn't smell or burn, isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee. You can use the whole jar. If you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt that you'll send it back because this stuff works. Australian Dream is available at Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Walmart, Target, and other drugstores and supermarkets everywhere. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Temporarily from Kalamazoo, Michigan, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Sunday, May 10th, 2015. Silver is trading at $16.47 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,188 per ounce. 
And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $245. Antiwar.com reports those Saudi military officials haven't been exactly clear on whether the proposed humanitarian pause in Yemen is going to actually mean a halt in airstrikes against the country. They are still piling demands on the Shiite Houthis, the target of their attacks. They are saying that the Houthis will have to fully cease all fire in the country and refrain from any movement of troops or artillery during the five-day period, and that the pause will immediately end if they don't. The five-day pause is scheduled to start at 11 p.m. Tuesday night, with an eye on allowing some humanitarian shipments into the country during the period. It is unclear if this will include easing the naval blockade on such shipments. Saudi military spokesman Brigadier General S. Sari continued with the mixed messages on the pause by talking up a new round of attacks against the Houthis, saying now is not the time for calm, it is time for punishment. Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs offers premium publicity campaigns designed to facilitate an organization's adoption of Bitcoin as a payment system. Bitcoin Not Bombs is fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. To learn more, visit BitcoinNotBombs.com. UPI reports a Missouri woman with the backing of the Satanic Temple is challenging the state's abortion laws that require a waiting period, stating they violate her religious freedoms and the state's Religious Freedom Restoration Act. Mary Doe filed lawsuit on Friday in Missouri Circuit Court against Governor Jay Nixon and State Attorney General Chris Coster after she went to a Planned Parenthood in St. Louis for an abortion. She was told she had to wait 72 hours per state law and was offered printed information and the chance to to see an ultrasound of the pregnancy. In turn, Doe handed them a prepared letter. The letter begins, As an adherent to the principles of the Satanic Temple, my sincerely held religious beliefs are, my body is inviolable and subject to my will alone. The lawsuit said Doe's decision for the abortion was based on her deeply held religious beliefs that she alone should be responsible for making decisions about her body and is in violation of the so-called Religious Freedom Act. Satanic Temple is a non super supernatural religion with public lobbying efforts focused on the separation of church and state. The Satanic Temple is known for sparking controversies that include erecting Satanic Christmas displays and handing out Satanic literature in Florida public schools. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports a tornado killed one person in a rural part of North Texas on Saturday and, according to local emergency officials, destroyed at least two houses just days after a series of twisters tore through several Great Plains states. The twister touched down about five miles south of the town of Cisco, an area of farm and small ranches. It then traveled in a straight line and tore through several houses in its path, according to Eastland County Judge Rex Field, the local emergency management coordinator. Field said one person Person was killed in the twister. He could not immediately provide more information on the victim. At least two houses were destroyed in the area about 130 miles east of Dallas and other dwellings might have been damaged. Field said roads were partly flooded because of the storm, adding, we can't exactly tell what all we've just got yet. We don't even have everybody accounted for. In eastern Colorado, three tornadoes touched down in rural areas on Saturday. There were no reports of injuries or property damages from those weeks twisters. Tornadoes also touched down on Saturday in western Kansas and along the border with Oklahoma and Texas, but no injuries were immediately reported, according to meteorologist Liz Leitzman of the Weather Services Storm Prediction Center. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. 
A report confirms that many Iraqis are still holding a petty grudge about the U.S. invasion. An advanced alien civilization discovers an uninhabitable planet. And a single woman has a Facebook profile picture with her sister. This is The Onion Week in Review. A groundbreaking study published Monday in the Journal of the American Medical Association confirmed that it is impossible to lose weight. No one has ever done it, and those who are trying should give up immediately. Researchers said that findings conclusively prove that shedding excess weight has never happened, changing your physical appearance is impossible, and that all sorts of exercise personal training regimens and diets will never ever work. Well our test results conclusively prove that if you're going to the gym to lose weight you will fail. You can work out every day and eat nothing and you still wouldn't lose an ounce. Skinny people will stay skinny. Overweight people will be overweight. That's just how it is. In other news an area man is outraged. His private information is being collected by someone other than advertisers. And a crowd cheers as this 93 year old f up finally graduates from college. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. It's 855-450. Free to call in and talk about whatever you want to talk about. It's Mark with you. And Derek J. You can actually use our Skype. It's lrn.fm is our username. You just, uh, you know. Send us a friend request there. Or I guess it's a user request. I'm not sure what it's called there. Anyway, you send us some kind of contact request. That's it. And then we'll uh, approve it within probably 10 minutes. I mean, we're look I'm looking right at it. Uh, approve it, and then you can call in with Skype. And usually sound a bit better. The number, the regular number, the old number, 855-450-3733. Let's go to your calls. Vinny calling in from Des Moines. Vinny, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? How are you doing? I'm well. You, sir? Pretty good. Uh, seems to me like you guys are kind of downplaying the whole Jade Helm thing. I was wondering what was up with that. Well, what do you think about it? What's really going on? Well, I mean, better be safe than sorry. Be on <laughs> alert. All the things that have been going on in the past, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 years, if you add it all up, this is unprecedented, isn't it? Um, um, I don't know. A military operation doesn't seem unprecedented to me, but I, I you know, I, I just don't tend to believe these things. Maybe I'll be the first one on the cattle car because I don't believe it. Um, I, I, you know, no, I, I don't think the military is going to round people up. Well, that you know, I, I don't either. But it could be like a preconditioning. Get people well, are used to it. People are used to it. I mean, they've got they got cops in schools. The kids have to go through metal detectors. We are a nation of sheep. There you go. <laughs> they don't need. To, they don't need to precondition us with military exercises. Uh, if right. you, if the government came on the radio and said everybody report to the FEMA camps, half of the population would go without, without, without them having to to bring one person in. Yeah, and then, well, there'd be one guy saying, "Hey, don't do it," but you know, somebody else calls him uh, paranoid, schizophrenic. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going. <laughs> You see, I believe that the strength I believe the strength lies in my ability to say no. And I believe that the government's generally full of a bunch of liars and thieves. So I'm going to have a very easy time saying no to the government. I say no to them every day. I mean, my, I I just all kinds of things. I say, nope, I'm not doing that. I'm not following that rule. I'm not doing this thing or that thing. So uh, you know, I mean, I don't have to make up stories in order to get somebody else not to do it. I live a life that says, no, I'm not playing their game. Yeah, part of the problem with this story for me is that it's so not you. It's not about you. And it's so much of, like, freedom in your life, it is about you. So, like, while the politicians and the radio talk show hosts are focusing on this story, I think there's lots of ways where your freedom is diminishing that aren't being talked about. And maybe focus on those instead. Right. This is on a grand scale, though, so it's kind of sticking out like a sore thumb. What do you think it's going to uh, yeah. do besides <laughs> condition people to, you know— the military being around and stuff. I've seen a lot of vehicles driving around. Uh, it makes me very, very nervous when I see military vehicles on the interstate, but I've seen a bunch of them. Have you seen the logo for the operation? Nope. What is it? Uh, it's got two arrows crossed, and at the bottom, at the top, it says Jade Helm. Uh huh. And at the bottom, it says Mastering the Human Domain. Okay. So? 
Well, most fi- the wars- human domain is Earth, so I guess they're mastering well, Earth. What's the big wars, deal about that? They want to know being, different terrains. Wars are being progressively training, more and more fought in cities. Why aren't they training on their bases? Where they got to go? How many states is it? Seven. Is Five it? states. Seven, I think, is what they said. Seven. That's pretty huge. Different terrains, I guess. All right. Well, I mean, this terrain. This is our terrain. They're well, training here or over there. Well, you were talking I, about I'm the logo. I'm not claiming they're welcome. I just don't think they're going to do anything. Right. Probably not. I'd be but a lot I mean, more concerned about the NSA the spy rocket they put up that has the logo of an octopus surrounding the Earth, and it says, nothing is beyond our reach. All right. That's kind of creepy. Yeah. Kind of. But I don't hear a bunch of Republicans getting all bent out of shape about that. The Republicans seem to be more worried about Ed Snowden being a traitor or whatever. Uh, I mean, I just I don't, think, I don't get it. I don't think that. Republican and Democrat, I don't think that has anything to do with it. It does It does from the Republicans and the Democrats' point of view. I'm not saying that you're a Republican. I'm just saying the Republicans believe that the Democrats believe one thing and the Democrats believe the Republicans believe another. And mostly the paradigm we get fed through the mainstream media is a two-party system paradigm. Right, and it's just a divide and conquer like you guys have already said. 100%. Vinny, I do appreciate the call. Thank you. 855-450-3733. So back to this story about anti-government resistance now being the beating heart of the GDP or GOP, at least uh, that's what one person thinks, the Seattle Times. He says, look, I get it. No one wants to be compared to McVeigh. And I'll repeat, no one in a position of responsibility embraces his prescription of terrorist violence. But it seems to me, beyond argument, that in the philosophical struggle for the soul of conservatism, he lost the battle and won the war. Interesting. Much of well, what I've got to say, we have we had people call in on Saturday talking about uh, you know what the revolution is going to look like. Ugh. And I I don't want to see a revolution. I hear stories about uh, the American Revolution, and you know, I was listening to one earlier today on the radio, and it honestly brought a tear to my eye, thinking about, oh my, what have these people gone through? It was so brave of them. But I don't want that to happen again. I don't want to see fighting in wars. There has to be another way to get freedom. Well, I people just want to separate down so many different lines. Like, I, you, you, the thing about if you're going to fight a revolution, you have to have everybody on your side. You have to have a large amount of people on your side, and you have to have a lot of luck. And you have, yeah, a lot of luck, and you have to have a lot of people willing to die. And we're not no at thanks. that. I'm, we're not at that. I'd much rather leave the United States than pick up a gun and shoot a government bureaucrat. If I felt that it was time to that that you know the military was coming after me, goodbye. Do you have a passport, people? Are you ready to leave? I mean, are you, you – really, you think fighting is the answer? I don't think fighting is the answer. Not today. The article concludes, Much of what now passes for conservatism proceeds from extremes of government loathing that would have stunned Ronald Reagan himself. Oh, yeah. Some of my readers used many colorful words to characterize that argument. Here's the word I'll use. Obvious. Yeah. What's obvious now? He says that uh, what passes for conservatism uh-huh. proceeds from extremes of government loathing. Yeah, fine. I loathe the government. If that makes me a conservative, compared to this guy, I, I mean, I have nothing to say <laughs> to this guy. Yeah, I, I mean, thought he's there were so a bunch of anarchists in my Seattle. life. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He's. I'm surprised he is from Seattle. I thought there were a bunch of anarchists there. I don't know what they what a, just celebrating May Day and all that. Aren't those just people that dress in black and throw Molotov cocktails? I mean, really, the the folks in Seattle. Yeah, come the on. folks in Seattle are that kind of anarchists. Yeah. Right, in air quotes. Well, if you look up Wikipedia and you look up anarchism, it does it have that. You're Is gonna it basically that gonna get that. That's oh, what you're man. gonna get. Uh, I mean, I know there's a lot of libertarians out there fighting for the term anarchist, and they can have it if they want. But you're gonna spend your life fighting for a term that means terrorist. Oh, oh well. Then I don't get it. Uh, let's go to Chris calling in from Connecticut. Chris, you're on Free Talk Live. Actually, I'm calling in from the police state of Connecticut. <laughs> yes. We're, we're not allowed to pretty much be armed in any good capacity. But at any rate, 
I, I wanted to touch on the things that kind of irked my attention on this Jade Helm when it was first brought to my attention by okay. that guy out of Texas who got that pretty good, you know, news conglomerate going on. Are we talking about there, Alex but, Jones? Was this an Alex Jones thing? We know who we're talking about. Yeah, he it's brought the New World Order. order. <laughs> I commend, I, come on, I, com- I commend them for what they did there. That's oh, I think that, the, the man has built an empire, and when he says jump, there's a lot of people that say say how high he is an he he is an icon in what for what he hey, does. He brought me ultimately to the Free State Project. Put it that way. Wow. Well, um, I, okay, okay. I this this argument that uh, you know the the comparisons between the sort of conspiracy crowd and the liberty crowd. How many people have been turned off from the ideas of liberty because mm. of what they consider? paranoid kookery and i don't know the answer to that i am going to bring you back however chris because i've talked over all the time that you're supposed to yes have. sir not that this it's not your time it, it's it's the listener's time though it's your time 855-450-3733 it's 855-450 free free talk live are you completely free of stress and fatigue well of course not you aren't alone though now think about how nice it would be to begin relieving some of that stress and fatigue let me introduce you to a product that has and is working for me it's called youthful greens youthful greens it's packed full of nature's nourishing cleansing and alkalizing greens providing a powerful dose of whole food nutrition in each serving youthful greens helps increase overall energy levels and reduce all that fatigue and stress on your body and right now when you visit freegreens.net or call 800 800- 333-6923 and order your one month supply of youthful greens for only twenty nine ninety five. you get another month supply for free. That's two months of youthful greens for the already low price of just twenty nine ninety five. plus free shipping. That's saving you $45. Visit freegreens.net today or simply call 800-333-6923. And hey, you're welcome. Are you completely free of stress and fatigue? Well, of course not. You aren't alone, though. Now think about how nice it would be to begin relieving some of that stress and fatigue. Let me introduce you to a product that has and is working for me. It's called Youthful Greens. Youthful Greens. It's packed full of nature's nourishing, cleansing, and alkalizing greens, providing a powerful dose of whole food nutrition in each serving. Youthful Greens helps increase overall energy levels and reduce all that fatigue and stress on your body. And right now, when you visit freegreens.net or call 800-333-6923 and order your one-month supply of Youthful Greens for only $29.95, you get another month's supply for free. That's two months of Youthful Greens for the already low price of just $29.95, plus free shipping. That's saving you $45. Visit freegreens.net today or simply call 800-333-6923. And hey, you're welcome. Cato University is the Cato Institute's premier educational event of the year. It's being held this year from July the 26th to the 31st at the Cato Institute's state-of-the-art headquarters in Washington, D.C. This annual program brings together outstanding faculty and participants from across the country and often from around the globe, with everyone sharing a commitment to liberty and learning. Cato University is a genuine community, and you can freely share viewpoints, concerns, ideas, questions, and more in an atmosphere of friendship and personal respect. It's a -a one-of-a-kind program for people who don't stop thinking after they got out of school. It's for people who don't want politicians or bureaucrats or officials to do their thinking for them. It's for people who value liberty. You'll learn. You'll be inspired. You'll make new friends. You'll meet great people from around the world. All of the details are spelled out at the Cato website, cato.org, and they hope to see you there this summer, July the 26th through the 31st in Washington, D.C. Again, details are at cato.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. LRN.FM needs your help getting our satellite signal back on in Africa. Our satellite provider had us on at no charge from 2012 through February of this year when they pulled the channel off the air. Now we're trying to raise $22,000 to continue reaching people with the message of liberty in places where it's needed most. Please visit our Indiegogo fundraiser at Africa. 
africa.lrn.fm. Give what you can and share the link with your friends. africa.lrn.fm. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. It's 855-453-FREE. You can call in, talk about whatever is on your mind. It's Mark. And Derek J. 855-450-3733. Fort Galt. Go to fortgalt.com. Check out the videos and the pictures they have there. This idea that they've got going, is uh, it, it's very interesting. What it is is they're building a condominium. Not a big condominium complex, but... Uh, you know, just some some smaller buildings. Um, by small, I mean big buildings. But <laughs> they they have very small units. So, for instance, they go from I think it's like three and a half feet wide uh, by ten feet long. So, I mean, not much more like a little college dormitory, maybe even smaller than a college college dormitory. The 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 smallest of basics that one person would need, hmm. on up to. You know, larger rooms for families and that sort of thing. But they've got big open spaces. The idea is is they're creating a place for entrepreneurs and sort of uh, free minds that want to create a new world. And I think they're going to have some really interesting stuff go on there. It's fortgalt.com. There's not a big outlay in in the beginning. It's a commitment, but, um, you know, you're committing to, if the project gets done, not putting a whole bunch of money in ahead of time and um, seeing whether or not it gets done. So go check it out. It's fortgalt.com. I'm excited by it, and, uh, you know, we've gotten involved a little bit here. It's fortgalt.com. Let's go back to Chris in the police state of Connecticut. Chris, you're on Free Talk Live. All right. Thanks for that clarification. <laughs> now, I was trying to discuss what irked me about the, the things that I heard about the Jade Helm exercise as yes, reported sir. by the InfoWars crew down there. Now, forgive me, I'm not in front of any source material. I'm actually out back in my yard, barefoot, staring at what looks like three planets right now in a line. I think I see cool. more. I saw that, Jupiter too, and, and it is Venus. awesome. Really? Yes, and, and Saturn should be soon to follow if my calculations are correct. At any rate, <laughs> Jade Helm. The things that irked me the most that I had heard, and these came from like the military uh, public information office, as reported by InfoWars, but uh, they talked about trying to maneuver and move like special forces units about indiscriminately amongst those areas, and that they wouldn't even be detected. And I, I thought I had also heard stuff about them kind of like interacting and liaisoning, if that is a proper word with local governance structures in those areas. And to boot the fact that they had labeled certain areas as like red zones, hostels, I mean, this does seem to me like a a larger, more bold step in this craziness that the federal government tries to purport on us every well, day. Okay, so, so let what? me give, let me give us some other ideas here. So if you're going to have yes, uh, if you're going to do an exercise, you have to have some hot zones, right? Like you have to pretend if you're doing a pretend exercise, they have to be pretend hot zones, right? Yeah, I'll give you that. Okay. So if um and a, probably a good way to uh, see how good your um your special forces teams are at s- sneaking and peeking and hiding behind bushes and whatever it is e- eating a snake or two or whatever it is that they do. No, but they talked about blending in with the local community, man, and that makes no sense if you're talking about It doesn't about make like any sense in America. You're absolutely right. Desert. It makes no sense for Americans to attempt to to blend in with Americans. You're right. I mean, either way, I'm not going to, like, hide under my bed about it. I'm barefoot outside of my backyard right now without even a gun strapped to me, believe it or not. But and you're in Connecticut. You know, either way, <laughs> yeah, well, I, I can still carry as many guns I want around kind of in my backyard. In your yard. What have you. <laughs> yeah, in my yard or in my truck, right? My 12-gauge rides lovely behind me all the time. Totally Are you allowed legal. to do that? Drive it, have a 12-gauge yeah, in a truck? Okay. Can't be, uh, can't be loaded. Can't be loaded, but, but my shells are strapped to the bandolier on the stock. So visible, happy, but you can have a visible hunting, right? shotgun hung in like the back window of a yeah, truck. You, I haven't seen that in years. Could, you, I remember seeing it at high school. They might hit you with a, a breach of peace if they really wanted to, and there was an interdepartment mem- memorandum that I found on their state police website that did go out to instruct their officers to harass us in such manner. But you, you know what? I've been pulled over, and I've instructed, hey, look, right behind me is my. Uh, for instance, Ruger 10-22 unloaded, but with the am- you know the ammunition right near me, and it was basically like my get out of being towed free card because they uh, they didn't want me to leave a gun in the car, you know. Yeah, I can't imagine they'd want so, that. Yeah, yeah. There's always a long gun in my in my vehicle. That's for damn sure. Interesting. Thanks for the call, Chris. I appreciate <laughs> yeah. it. Hey, take care. 
855-450-3733. I'm either always too fast or too slow with that hang-up thing. Like, I, <laughs> if, if I get them before they say anything, then, it, you know, they're just gone. But if I get them right in the middle, it just sounds like I've just hung up on somebody. I yeah. don't care. I care. A little bit, you know, like I care a little. Let's go to Bob, calling in from uh, California. Bob, you're on Free Talk Live, and I care a little. <laughs> Bob, oh, he's not speaking to me now. Can you believe this? I made him so angry, Bob's not speaking to me. <laughs> oh, maybe you hurt his feelings. I, I think I did. No, I'm, I'll just put Bob on hold. Maybe he'll uh, come back here shortly. Hold the line. Maybe he's looking at those planets now that... It's uh, really awesome. I is that love... really a thing? What's going on? I don't know what's going on. I just like Are to go... Are they coming out... for us? Are the aliens coming? I just like to look at the sky. Um, you don't have it really here in Keene because you've got so many buildings and huh? there's a lot of ambient light. You don't get to see the sky the way that I do out in the country. Oh, but whatever. I feel like I see the sky a lot. What we folks in the country get that you folks in the city don't is one heck of a show the at night. The city. Keene is not a city. I'm from Philly. We there's, couldn't see the sky. There's enough ambient light coming from Keene. I can see it on the horizon. I mean, it looks like a little glow it looks like dawn uh, off in the uh um, whatever direction it is we're from the my town. proverbial light on the hill yeah <laughs> you're in a lake bed you are the light in the <laughs> ditch <laughs> is what you are 855-450-3733 oh we can uh, get yelled at by wit hold on just a second here oh no take the call okay james you're on free talk live james you're on free talk live you could have fooled me. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> uh, with what? Die, Maggie. Die. What a peach he is, isn't he? Your hero, Derek you, Gay. You want to talk about is. Ian, I and wanna he's not talk. even here. You want to interrupt? You want to interrupt? No, I just quoted Rich Paul, who said, die, Maggie, die on Facebook. I thought you already knew that, but maybe I your didn't. listeners didn't know either. What a peach he is, but I know you've called him your hero. But Mark Edge... I do think you're a bad person, and you're the wow. one that for over a year now has been posting disgusting memes about me on F Facebook. I've been and you get your posting rocks off. Quotes but may I continue? You. No, you may not. You yep. have made an may accusation, I sir. I will put you I'm right on making... hold. Ooh. <laughs> You've made an accusation. <laughs> the accusation is I put, said mean things about you on Facebook. I have not. What I have done is I've put quotes from you on Facebook. Your rebuttal, and sir. And they are mean. Your rebuttal is – my rebuttal is you've commented on post uh, going back a year now, Minister Edge, with me uh, – or uh, uh, a John Deere with guns sticking out of it, and I believe you actually posted that just as – Oh, are you talking yes, about me I, referring to you as like a cranky old man caller? Uh, so you did post negative memes on me on Facebook over a year ago, and I'm – not the one that's cranky. You're the one that smears me after you dump my calls. And you've you're done the one who defeated. threatens my Even life, though, you lunatic. And you're oh, may, I continue, grudge. may I continue? May I continue? I hold a grudge against those that are not repentant or atone <laughs> for their disgusting You've got seven billion people to hate on. May you I want to talk on? about my may death. Be, you want to talk no. about my death all the time because you're crazy and you know I'm a convicted felon and you believe the government has uh, uh, disarmed me. <laughs> That's why you feel safe because you're a coward, James. How about that? There's a new I name for I don't carry you. a gun anywhere I go, unlike all your friends. I'll, I guess I'm supposed to take your word for may it. I, may you're I constantly respond threatening to that my death. life. Okay, let me respond to that. By the way, you don't have anything to say about Rich Paul saying, die, Maggie, die. He's not threatening He's my life. Your show. I never threaten your life, not even for a nanosecond. I don't think that's never a good thing. Never touched a hair on your head, but you let me. Things that James Wittekind says um, on Facebook, look it up, and you can see what he said. Free Talk Live, 855 453 Die, Maggie, die is not a nice thing to say. No, I don't support nice. that. 855-450-3733. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor, period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order. Katie offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free tactical scarf for a limited time with any body armor package. That's KatiArmor.com. Come and take it. So I say to Mark at lunch, look, you know, I keep hearing from the government that, you know, they're worried someday ISIS may get here. 
And I go, duh, a Garland, Texas, Muhammad cartoon shooting. ISIS is already here. I'm not waiting for these people to defend me. If they don't know ISIS is here already, they got no clue. I'm taking care of myself. Guns80.com, AR-15 kits, 30-shot magazines, great prices. They've even got the Hillary special. Guns80.com, that's 844-2-GUNS-80, guns80.com. There are two types of advertising. Poll advertising, like Google AdWords, where a consumer goes looking for widgets near them and you try to pull them in with your ad away from the other widget purveyors. Then there's push advertising, where you push your message out about your great widgets and attempt to convince people who weren't thinking about widgets at all that what they need in their life right now is your widget. Radio is push advertising. In the course of a week, there are probably over a quarter million good folks listening to Free Talk Live, and they could hear your message. We are having a sale right now, and it ends May 15th. 200 30-second ads for $1,997. That's like 10 bucks an ad. Find another show with that kind of rate with 150-plus stations. Email me, Mark Edge, at marketfreetalklive.com, and I'll set you up. You don't need to have an ad. We'll produce it for you. Buy 200 30-second ads by May 15th and get them for less than $10 a piece. It's a big savings, and you don't want to miss it. Email me, Mark, at freetalklive.com now. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate. Oof, I think we've all had enough of that jingle, don't you? If you're going to invest in property in New Hampshire, it just makes sense to support a liberty-friendly realtor. Call Mark Warden of Team Porcupine Real Estate for investment property or rentals in the free state or visit his website. Come on, you know it. PorcupineRealEstate.com did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Good morning. Later this afternoon, I will be engaging in an extramarital affair. Of course, I will wish that I had never made the horrible mistake I'm about to spend several hours making, but sadly, I'm currently too blinded by greed and lust to care about or consider the consequences of my actions. The liaison I will be taking part in shortly with two poor deaf teenage runaways is in direct opposition to the values you elected me to uphold. I also wish to apologize to my wife, Linda, to my two beautiful children, Allison and Christopher, it hurts me more than you will ever know that this scandal will impact your life so terribly. I can only pray that the revelations you will soon hear concerning my fetishes, physical flexibility, and penis will not scar you to the point of dementia. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get to the hotel immediately, so I will not be taking questions. Thank you. This is the Onion News Network. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. It's 8... 8- 55 or 50 free. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind. We've been talking about this, uh, apparently this event that's going on, Operation Jade Helm. And, uh, you know, there's been, I guess it's been getting a lot of press. Doesn't mean much to me. I'm not scared. Whatever. 855-450-3733. Let me know if you are. But, um, you know, radio advertising is unique. What it's what you're able to do with radio advertising is you're able to brand in a way that uh, doesn't happen so much with non-broadcast mediums. You create because you know talk radio is a very personal medium. You uh, you take a person when they're you know generally in a pretty good mood if they if they like the show and they're going to associate your product in a good way. And Free Talk Live has a really big sale going on right now. Until May 15th, we've got 230-second ads for $1,997. That's like 10 bucks an ad, just a little less. So 
find another show that's on 150 radio stations across the country that's got those kind of rates. If you want to take advantage of $10, 30-second ads, please email me, mark at freetalklive.com, and we'll get it set up for you. Uh, you got to pay by May 15th. It's mark at freetalklive.com. Yes, it's uh, you know short order, but that's the way sales work. Let's go back to try Bob again here in California. I don't know what was happening, but uh, we didn't we didn't hear him the last time. Bob, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Can we hear him now? Board up. What is going on with Bob? Makes me wonder whether it's us or Bob. I don't know. Yeah, I know. It's like completely silent. It's not even like you hear like breathing or something. <sighs> like he's waiting for us to pick up. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. So, well, I'll let the. Uh, I let the board up bring uh, bring the callers on here because I have a tendency. I have I'm of the opinion that this just isn't working. So there we go. Uh, apparently, Keurig is killing their own business with digital rights management coffee. Huh? <laughs> That's what's happening here. Digital coffee? Does that mean I can download a latte? Oh, uh, not, not exactly that. Coming from TruthVoice.com. Less than two years after announcing the release of the Keurig 2.0 and the introduction of DRM digital rights management into their new coffee makers, Keurig Green Mountain uh, announced lagging sales, sending the company's stock down 12%. Revenues are low, sales are down 23%, and customers are apparently tired of Keurig's bullcrap. What what about them is bullcrap? Apparently what they're doing is uh, making it so you can only use let me read it here. All their uh, this all started when Keurig introduced features in their 2.0 brewers aimed at keeping third-party counterfeited coffee pod manufacturers out of the market. Their 2.0 pods contain proprietary ink or RFID tags which are used by the coffee making device to identify Keurig's made coffee pods and allow the machine to brew only Keurig licensed coffee. No way. I, they had to know this idea was going to fail. Third party pods are rejected by the machine, meaning that the customers who have purchased aftermarket pods are now stuck with pods that they cannot use and machines which only work with very expensive Keurig only pods. That's so annoying. Like, compatibility issues are classic. Everyone knows, like, uh, remember the days of Mac and Windows where things weren't compatible? You couldn't use one CD in another computer or the, the floppy well, drives were different. Remember when cell phones, you could only charge them with a specific charger you had to every time right. you get a new cell, fo- cell phone? You had to buy a new car charger and buy a new this and buy a new that. It's bad enough to get a new case, a new screen protector and all that stuff, but you had to get a charger. Yeah, what do you think? We're stupid that we can't figure out? Like, uh, oh, I know how to make coffee with another little coffee machine. You think after Come two on, years they'd Keurig. figure it out. I don't know what's going on. Let's go Let's go to Tom calling in from Des Moines. This isn't the same guy, is it? No, I don't think so. No, Tom, he wasn't in Des Moines. You're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Um, I was just calling because you guys were talking about the... Uh, FEMA camps earlier? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have uh, ever been on YouTube and searched for, uh, I believe it's called Georgia Stone. It's been a while since I've seen it. But there's uh, there's just rows of coffins stacked like 25 high, and they're huge like Rubbermaid totes. That yeah, they're like Rubbermaid the totes. Before. So? Yeah. And I don't know that they're coffins. They're, they're just, Rubbermaid totes. So what? You know, yeah, you don't know what they are, but it's just kind of weird. Yeah, it's weird. So many of them. Have you, I, have you seen the video? Yep, I've seen it. I saw How it years, do you know they belong to FEMA? Ago. I don't. Yeah. It's okay, so you're just saying that? They're just big black totes. Yeah. Okay. There's another guy. Have you seen this? He's walking through an old train station, and he's describing how it's a FEMA camp? Yeah, that's, I think that's what I'm talking about. Is that the same thing? That's okay. someone's opinion. I think that's just someone's opinion. But I agree. It's just, just somebody's opinion. I used to work at a place. Um, I was in, actually in prison when I was working there. Um, it was the uh, it was a camp from World War II. It was a training camp, and it had huge barracks and all kinds of stuff, and they were just kind of dilapidated and falling apart, and nobody really did much in them. But it was a really kind of spooky place. If you didn't know exactly what it was for, that it was a bombing range out in uh, Avon Park, Florida. Um, and, you know, I can see how people would be kind of freaked out, but it's it's a big jump to say, wow, here's a scary place and the government's going to kill us all here. Yeah, yeah. Is that it? Yep. Um, yeah, I just, yep, thank you and you let me on. You Appreciate the call, Tom. Thanks so much. Yeah, I've seen that video that 
Tom is talking about. It exists. And it did scare me when I first saw this. I think uh, even Jesse Ventura did an episode of one of his uh, conspiracy shows. Um, Wasn't talking... able to find anything about it? Well, yeah. I'm... So what? There's a bunch of coffins. Even if they are coffins. You know, even if they are, I mean, don't you have to warehouse these things somewhere? I mean, imagine there's some guy out there who owns a big plot of land, and he decided, I'm going to sell coffins on eBay, and he sells one at a time, and he's got a big storage unit here in Georgia. I mean, well, what, what, if, what, what if it's that? What if FEMA has to be ready for a big disaster where a bunch of people die? You can believe if they aren't ready with a bunch of Rubbermaid coffins in order Everyone's to— Everyone's going to be upset when they do like, a mass FEMA's grave. FEMA's a bunch of incompetent but. but Big buttheads. Right? Like they're going to be constantly saying things. Look, you know, you can't call them incompetent and then blame them. You know, they are the emergency prepared or preparedness organization. Yeah. You can't blame them for having coffins. Would people really prefer mass graves? Yeah, let's. You know what we need? We need a big uh, caterpillar uh, uh, excavator here to dig out a hole and dump everybody in it. Yeah. At least these people get individual attention. I think what they need is uh, they need a uh, a cremation retort that can, that they can drive in, like it's just on the back of a truck, and then they can just, just use a flamethrower. No, yeah, I, mean, I don't think that'll uh, actually uh, burn people. Up. Let's go to Tammy calling in from Alexandria. I think Tammy, you're on Free Talk Live. What's in your mind? Uh, yes, I just got done watching. Unfortunately, I'm having computer difficulties, but uh, Christopher Cantwell's issue um, he had last night. Yeah, it was on YouTube. And um, well, he was telling us about say, that during the break. You're gonna have to be. You're gonna have to let the audience though know though. Um. Well, honestly, he did a great job. Um. There was two women, from what I've seen on the video, in distress with two guys. You know, arguing. I greatly at the women's what it sound like to me. And he just pulled out his camera, you know. Well, that totally made him mad that he was videotaping. And long story short, one of the gentlemen, because you can't make it out, you know, because things were happening so fast. But Chris told him, I have a gun. And this guy still proceeded to come toward Chris like a crazy man. Now, my opinion, if someone tells you and he has his gun pulled out, what kind of idiot would still pursue. A drunk one? It, <laughs> yeah, or other things. But <laughs> my point was, I just wanted to say, Chris did a great job, and that's why more people should to cover their butt, have their camera on them, and, you know, tell the people, look, I have my gun. You know, if you... Well, he said, I don't want to get in a gun fight with you, stupid. And I... Uh, <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I don't want to get in a fist fight with you, stupid. And that, you know, like... <laughs> It's, it's a good idea. Clear. If you're carrying a gun, you do not want to be in a fist fight with somebody. The best thing Chris Cantwell no. did in that instance was record. Yeah, that way he's Absolutely. he's covered. You could go see it at ChristopherCantwell.com. You can get your develop your opinion. Tammy, thanks thanks for the call. I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys. Thanks. I enjoy your show. Appreciate Bye-bye. it. Bye bye. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. It's ChristopherCantwell.com if you want to see it. Sounds like a very scary situation to me. What are your thoughts? 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-FREE. Help! I'm tied up in my hotel rewards program. I'll never get enough points to make it worth my while. Never fear. Instant Man is here. Instant Man? I'm the America's best value in Instant Man, here to save you with instant rewards. What do you mean? Join our free value club and get 15% off room upgrades and late checkout when available instantly. No waiting? No points? Just register at abvi.com. Oh, Instant Man, you and America's best value in saved me. Instantly. New Hampshire is under quarantine as walking corpses devour the flesh of the living. Max is 11 years old and surviving alone. Slow moving and non-thinking, the dead swarm his home. Now he must apply his porcupine freedom scouts training to improvise his escape. Look for Survivor Max on Facebook, read reviews on Amazon, or read chapter one at SurvivorMax.com. 
It's time to build your own emergency food stockpile with the industry leader, My Patriot Supply. Once you try them, you'll know why so many Americans like you have made them part of their emergency preparedness plan. Experience the My Patriot Supply difference today with this unbelievable offer. Right now, a four-week food supply is only $99, and that includes free shipping. That's 50% off the online price. Call 800-274-3070 to claim yours. Limit two per caller while supplies last. This offer isn't available online, so you want to make sure and grab this opportunity to get prepared today. 800-274-3070 to get your four-week food supply for the incredible price of only $99, and it'll be shipped to you completely free. Call 800-274-3070 right now. That's 800-274-3070 to claim yours while supplies last. Don't wait. Call today. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, final segment. Just a reminder, it's Mark with you. And Derek J. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. We've got links there to Amazon and Walmart and Newegg and a, fr- a few other uh, online retailers. It's an extra click. I know it's an extra click. It's not fun to be online and have an extra click, but that extra click really does pay off for us. Please do your online shopping there. It, uh, it, it adds momentum to what we're doing. And it allows us to outsource some of the risk of doing a talk show and having advertisers. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a risk for an advertiser to advertise on talk shows, especially after Rush Limbaugh done called that lady the S word. And that drove away a lot of customers. Sorry to tell you. So mm-hmm. please do, do that for us. Shop.freetalklive.com. Let's go to Cody calling in from Iowa. Cody, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how's it going? All's well. Yo. What's on your mind? Oh, just wanted to kind of go off of the um, whole FEMA camp idea. Yeah. Um, kind of, you know, with ISIS going across the border, uh, read some statistics saying they're in the 49 out of 50 states. Um, well, it does make sense for— uh, Hold on. ISIS coming across ready. the border? When, where did this happen? What? Uh, like Mark Levin or some uh, some show like that. Um, well, there's this hoax story about a week and a half ago uh, where ISIS was supposedly down in Mexico. I, I saw that one, but um, I yeah, it, like the didn't buy into that one though. <laughs> okay. 
Um, I don't know. I, I heard somewhere, though, that they were, uh, because of the flood of illegal immigration, that they were slipping through there. Oh. I suppose they could. Who's the boogeyman now? But why... <laughs> I, I, why would ISIS bother um, sending soldiers that are willing to fight and die to the United States? <laughs> well, death to America. Isn't that what uh, most jihadists think? Do you think 100 people are going to be able to bring death to America? Not 100. I think they could cause some trouble, though. Well, I just was listening to a security expert uh, on I- NPR, I think it was, uh, today. It wasn't NPR. Anyway, uh, it was yeah, it was NPR. Um, and they said that if there are... People that are sympathetic to uh, jihadists out there, they number in the hundred. And ISIS, they number in the hundreds in the United States. So, you know, yeah. not yeah. a big, not a big threat. Well, only took a few to take down the trade center, though. Well, they the the thing about taking down the trade center was you were able at that time in history you were able to hijack an airplane with a box cutter. Do you think you could do that today? Even yeah. if I gave you a box oh, cutter wait. while you were on a plane? No way, no way. No, because you you just I, couldn't. I don't know. Just, the the passengers yeah, exactly. would kill you. I don't know, just kind of throwing that idea out there. It, I'm it not scared. Sense. You know, I'm far more concerned the federal government stealing money from me every single year, the state government uh, robbing me to pay for their school, their school, their failing schools, the local governments and all their little plans. These people are thieves that I deal with on a regular basis. ISIS, I don't think they've got anything. I, they're, they're nothing. I'm not worried. <laughs> they're going to push point. gay That's people point. off the Leaning Tower of Pizza, Mark. Oh, that's what the ISIS is doing? Yeah, they can't even spell pizza. pizza. Thanks for the call, Cody. Appreciate it. 855 Why am I giving the number? We've got uh, callers here. Let's go to Randy uh, calling in from Pensacola. Randy, you're on Free Talk Live. Yes, sir. I was calling about, uh, I wanted to talk about the, uh, the marijuana legalization that's debate that's going on in uh, Florida and Alabama. I Yay. thought it was over. I thought that, that, you, I thought that uh, medical marijuana lost in Florida a couple of few months ago. Oh. Yeah, uh, from what I heard, well, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't been able to catch up lately, but from what I heard, um, they had uh, in Alabama they had just passed the bill, but it was, okay. they still had to it still had to go through some system. Well, it's more than uh, but, twenty. I think that the marijuana organizations, the medical marijuana organizations, count more than half of the states as having some medical marijuana provision. And actually, the federal government, um, there are people that uh, you know can legally smoke marijuana from on a federal level too. So it's coming. Yes, sir. See, my my only debate, my only, the debate between me and my family, is it's not the the fact of it being legalized medical medically. Our debate is is it being legalized medically or recreationally? They, recreationally, my okay. Said it should be, my family said it should said it should be legalized uh, medically, but in my opinion, I'm thinking that it should be legalized recreationally because, in my opinion, it would bring a lot more money to the state. And what is your family? More money to the state. You know, like, that's the worst thing about it as far as I'm concerned, but I understand that that's probably what's going to happen is, is it's going to be taxed. But what is it that your family's so worried about uh, that if marijuana is legalized? Uh, they're, they're not worried about it being, well, well, see, my mother, she has her husband, which is, I guess, is my stepdad, but he has a, like, like, um, Chronic, uh, chronic arthritis. He has a bunch of dis- a bunch yep. of different things, and medical marijuana is a big factor, and it helps him out a lot. Like he has to go through a lot right. of surgery. I, I, I'm I'm supporting completely medical marijuana. I'm asking why we wouldn't have recreational marijuana. And I got the impression uh, that your uh, your family only wanted medical marijuana, not recreational marijuana. Am I incorrect in my impression? Yeah, um, yeah that you, you were right. That's the question I needed. I needed here. My my family says that it should be medical they because they don't think it should be smoked they don't think it should be sold in stores to everybody they think it should just be for the people who only need it you mean are like they al- aware that it like used alcohol? to be sold in stores <laughs> in america uh, I'm, I'm not really sure well maybe you should uh, inform them not. about the history about how 100 years ago you could go pick than- up a, a vial of cannabis. That would have cannabis oil right in it and yeah. it had alcohol and heroin mixed in there too Boy, yeah, that'll get rid of a headache. Uh, yeah, they did legalize cannabis oil in uh, Alabama. They did legalize that. I was just my my own, you know, my debate is still, you know, it's been all, it's always been about recreational. I don't, I'd like I to know to what be. I, I want to know. Look, when people tell me about they want marijuana to be illegal, I ask them to compare it to alcohol because this is one of the most dangerous drugs on the planet, and nobody my proposes. Point, exactly. Almost nobody proposes to make it illegal. Um, it's you that know, my point, exactly. it tears families apart. I've never heard of marijuana tearing families apart. 
Unless the state is bringing a person to jail. Yeah, there's always that. Right, The state uh, tears families apart. The government <laughs> tears families apart. ISIS doesn't tear families apart. Marijuana doesn't tear, tell, tear families apart. I don't know what to say on it, uh, Randy. Uh, I support full legalization. I think that free people can put what they want in their bodies or they don't own their bodies. It's either your body or it's not. You know, and that's the same thing I tell my family, every, every, you know, anybody that talks about the legalization. Um, they always, they're always discussing medical marijuana and all that. But you know, I've been, I've been from alcohol. I've been abused and everything growing up. So uh, I'm, I'm completely against alcohol. I, they're sitting there debating on whether or not to legalize marijuana. They need to be debating on whether or not to need to illegalize alcohol. <laughs> here, here. Thanks like, for the like call, like Randy. I, I appreciate never, it. 855. Well, I'm giving the number again. Let's go to Nathan calling in from Texas. Nathan, you're on Free Talk Live. So one of the interesting issues about gun control is that in liberal places, I've always assumed that they don't like guns because they don't feel that they could responsibly handle them sort of a thing. Like, you know, yeah. everyone's going to be shooting people. But the video from Chris Cantwell that I just finished watching, it, it paints and it gives you the other side of the coin, which is that people, e even if you have a gun and you're a responsible gun owner, the people that you're dealing with might be crazy and put you in a position where, you know, bad things could happen. Um, Derek J., have you ever had someone charge you, like in this video, when you're trying to record them in a peaceful manner? Yeah, absolutely. I have had that happen frequently. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's, I, uh, that's I haven't pulled a gun on anyone for it. But well, I, I, I don't run. Know if, I, it's hard to see what... Yeah, yeah, that's what Campbell does in the video. He's clearly backing up. He's clearly, you know, trying to disengage from the situation. I think that's the right thing to so do. I, yeah, the, it's, it was some drunk people screaming, and then he started to record them, and then they started to charge him and scream at him, and you know that kind of thing. And uh, well, you know, he gives a statement to the police, and that's the. And that's the I'm end not going to say every time a gun is po pointed at somebody that they straighten up, but in this circumstance, it did. And even if the person had a gun too. Uh, we don't know how they would have reacted. I mean, these people stopped doing, from what I can tell, stopped doing what they were doing because the fear of death was pointed right down. Right There's a short-barreled revolver pointing right at your face. Suddenly, huh, I probably should change what I'm doing immediately. Um, <laughs> like it, it's a, it, it, it'll give you a paradigm shift, if you know what I'm saying. And just okay, because so you that, might have a gun wasn't... doesn't mean that you necessarily would use it because you're still going to potentially die. Right. It's just the impression I got from the video is that they were sort of di disregarding whether he was armed or not. So maybe maybe uh, you maybe you saw something in the video. I didn't. But there's but, something. Yeah, in the, that, I haven't seen the video. There's something, you know, I mean, the gene pool. There, there's a reason. Like we, That's why we call it the gene pool. <laughs> if we don't, you don't eliminate a certain amount of people that don't understand what uh, how deadly a revolver is, then the human race is going to devolve into some kind of, uh, you know, primitive, uh, you know, some kind of dumber primate. Well, that's true, but there's also the fact that if you're confronting crazy, you know, drunk people, they may not be able to recognize that you are armed, or they may not understand what that means, right? So, you know. I don't think that it's a good idea to get involved in people's problems, and Cantwell basically said this, is that he heard a woman screaming, he came to her aid, and he's like, boy, I won't do that again. Because, you know, a lot of times when you hear some, a couple screaming, that's what they like, to, it's like their hobby. Well... I don't know. I don't have any solutions for you, but I bet he's happy he had that gun on him. Uh, probably. Thanks for the call. 855-450-3733. Why am I giving that number? What I want you to do is I wanted you to check out our Facebook page and our uh, website. It's freetalklive.com, and you can get to the Facebook page simply by going to facebook.freetalklive.com. Drive safe. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. 
Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Liberty Conspiracy is next, after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. Temporarily from Kalamazoo, Michigan, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Sunday, May 10th, 2015. Silver is trading at $16.47 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,188 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $245. Antiwar.com reports those Saudi military officials haven't been exactly clear on whether the proposed humanitarian pause in Yemen is going to actually mean a halt in airstrikes against the country. They are still piling demands on the Shiite Houthis, the target of their attacks. They are saying that the Houthis will have to fully cease all fire in the country and refrain from any movement of troops or artillery during the five-day period, and that the pause will immediately end if they don't. The five-day pause is scheduled to start at 11 p.m. Tuesday night, with an eye on allowing some humanitarian shipments into the country during the period. It is unclear if this will include easing the naval blockade on such shipments. Saudi military spokesman Brigadier General S. Siri continued with the mixed messages on the pause by talking up a new round of attacks against the Houthis, saying now is not the time for calm, it is time for punishment. Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs offers premium publicity campaigns designed to facilitate an organization's adoption of Bitcoin as a payment system. Bitcoin Not Bombs is fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. To learn more, visit BitcoinNotBombs.com. UPI reports a Missouri woman with the backing of the Satanic Temple is challenging the state's abortion laws that require a waiting period, stating they violate her religious freedoms and the state's Religious Freedom Restoration Act. Mary Doe filed lawsuit on Friday in Missouri Circuit Court against Governor Jay Nixon and State Attorney General Chris Coster after she went to a Planned Parenthood in St. Louis for an abortion. She was told she had to wait 72 hours per state law and was offered printed information and the chance to see an ultrasound of the pregnancy. In turn, Doe handed them a prepared letter. The letter begins, As an adherent to the principles of the Satanic Temple, my sincerely held religious beliefs are, my body is inviolable and subject to my will alone. The lawsuit said Doe's decision for the abortion was based on her deeply held religious beliefs that she alone should be responsible for making decisions about her body and is in violation of the so-called Religious Freedom Act. The Satanic Temple is a non supernatural religion with public lobbying efforts focused on the separation of church and state. The Satanic Temple is known for sparking controversies that include erecting Satanic Christmas displays and handing out Satanic literature in Florida public schools. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. 
Reuters reports a tornado killed one person in a rural part of North Texas on Saturday and, according to local emergency officials, destroyed at least two houses just days after a series of twisters tore through several Great Plains states. The twister touched down about five miles south of the town of 